I said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. Milwaukee Bucks trades, rumors, and news live edition. Before we get into it, you know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying. What the hell is going on with the Milwaukee Bucks, bro? Salute the Bucks Nation. I apologize for y'all even have to watch this type of nonsense that they're calling basketball that they're the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is the only person that played hard today. We deserve to lose this game. Turnovers, being sloppy. We are sleepwalking through this game. I mean, we didn't really get any production from anybody besides really Beasley and and, and Giannis. Giannis scored 20 points in a row and it didn't and it wasn't enough. Do you know how wild that is to score 20 points in a row and it does nothing to the bottom line of the score? It's crazy. Crazy. I mean, this is just a this is just a poor performance. It's just back-to-back -back poor performances. We have to find a way to get some consistency before uh before the playoffs start. That means Dame playing consistent, Middleton playing consistent. Because you know what you're gonna get from Giannis. Giannis is Groundhog Day. Now, what Giannis needs to do is start hitting his free throws, but that's the ups and downs with Giannis. But he definitely needs to improve on free throws. Free throws definitely hurt us today. Free throws are a major reason we're in this predicament. We're 10 and 19 from the free throw line. That's unacceptable. Pat Connaughton playing 22 minutes having three points is unacceptable. Bobby P, five points. Jay Crowder, three points. Our bench did diddly poo tonight. Nothing. Our bench did nothing tonight. And then on top of that, A.J. Green only played two minutes is insane. A.J. Green only playing two minutes is insane. I am blaming the players for what's going on right now, but I will say that they have been assisted by some poor rotations by Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers has shown some very poor rotations in this game. I also think he sat Giannis way too long in this type of game, and that hurt us as well. If we were going for the win, he just has to play. That's just what it is. Four or five minutes of sitting your best player and the best player of both teams is ridiculous in this type of game. It's ridiculous. It's just really ridiculous. I think Doc needs I'm I'm not I know it's the players, but Doc has to get these players better prepared because the things the, the mistakes that we're making should be corrected in practice. We're, we're not a fundamentally sound team at all. For a team to be full of veterans, we were talking about it in the chat. We're not fundamentally sound. We make poor, like, poor passing. Poor passing, and Middleton is at the top of the list. I keep telling y'all, stop gassing Middleton about, his, uh, about uh, his passing. His passing is trash. He should not be passing. He should be being used as Klay Thompson is used. Catch and shoot. Two, three dribble shooter pass. That's it. Him trying to initiate the offense is something bad waiting to happen every time. He got six assists, but he got four turnovers. So what does the six assists help? And then Brooke Lopez has seven points, five rebounds. He does have three blocks, but uh, we haven't gotten a solid game out of Brooke Lopez in quite some time. In quite some time. The bench really hurt us tonight, though, too. I know it's the starters. I know you want to say Lillard, Litter, seven to eight, seven to fifteen, two and five. Uh, the, he did miss two free throws, which is uncharacteristic. Seven assists, uh, two turnovers, seventeen points. Beasley has had a uh, had a strong game. Uh, he's played well since he's had a few stinkers. So at least it's good to see uh, Beasley back hitting his shot. He did have twenty, but when you're not getting any production from the bench. And you're missing free throws. You miss almost half of your free throw attempts. You're probably going to lose because it wasn't defense today per se. Our defense wasn't trash per se. We we held them to under forty percent shooting, twenty five percent from the field. They another team shooting thirty free throws. These refs got a thing for making sure whoever the Bucks play, they're going to get about thirty free throw attempts, which is insane. That doesn't help either. But it is what it is. We played good enough defense. It was free throw shooting and turnovers that hurt us. 14 turnovers hurt us. They only had six turnovers this whole game. Those are the three things that hurt us. We got to tighten up. We can't be lackadaisical. We can't, the, the lack of ball move. It's like this, this team 
I, I just don't understand. They'll do the right thing for one or two games and then do the wrong thing for a few games. As much as y'all go in on, 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 on Dame, you know what? Dame is a reflection of our season, if you want to keep it real. How inconsistent Dame is is exactly how inconsistent this team is. Let's keep it real. It's the same. They coincide damn near. It's crazy. I, I guarantee if Dame is more consistent, this team will be more consistent. But we still need production from this bench. You can't play someone 22 minutes and they score three points. That's unacceptable. Bobby P, five points. Crowder, three points. You barely get 10 points from your bench? Barely 10 points? And all their, look at that, they have five people in double figures. We, we just didn't play well. We just didn't, we just didn't play well. I know we're fighting now, and maybe we can pull off a miracle, but again, Giannis doing what he does. Giannis is having a monster game. We'll see what happens. I do like that the Bucs don't quit. That's one thing I do admire about the Bucs. They never quit. They might lose. They might turn the ball over, do something stupid, but I've never just seen them quit. That's one thing that I'll say about y'all might not say they have, they might not have dog in them, but the Bucks do have a lot of fight. They will go out on their shield as they're trying to do right now. The thing is that my problem with the Bucks is why aren't you doing this off the rip? Why aren't you playing with this type of passion, energy, and grit off the rip? Why does it have to be dire straits before y'all start playing for real? It's ridiculous. Dame has to get consistent. I mean, we need him to be consistent. Look at that. Damn, man. Another L, bro. Wow, man. Middleton has seven points. Uh, <sighs> we got to figure this out soon. We can't just keep losing. When the Boston lose, like like it's a cool. When they lose, we, we gonna lose too. Like, what are y'all doing? There's no way we should have lost this game. This is crazy. Jesus. Now in garbage time, Dame stats gonna look better. Eight of sixteen, three of six, twenty points. I, God. <sighs> Bucks Nation, we gotta be strong. They gonna figure this out. Can y'all please hit the like button as y'all come in here? It's over 60 y'all in here, 16 likes. We should be at least at 30 to 40 likes. We grinding after every we grind grinding after every game, Bucks Nation. Win, lose, or draw. Chin up, chest out. Bucks Nation, we here. All we asking for is a little support. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Appreciate y'all. Let me get into this comment section after this atrocity that we just watched. Damn, man. That's oh. The Pelicans? Let me shout out who up in here. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Eliza, I see you in here. John Jackson, what's good? Oliver Story, what's good? Deco123, what's good? Mr. Cool, the legend, what's good? Jeff Riley, shout out to the OC. Bucks number one, what's good, bro? You be wilding in the chat sometimes, fam. Salute to you. Gibson Nicholas, shout out to the Bahamas. Mr. Priceless, what's good? Patricia P, what it do? Trina, what's good? Brandon, King Carter, what it do? AJ, what's good? Matt, what's good? Pronte, what it do? I know Pronte hot. I know Pronte is hot. Juicy, what's good? I know y'all are hot. Janet M.O.C. Squad, what's good? John Hassel, what's good? Gary Foster, what's good, bro? Appreciate you tapping in. Leon Theo, what's good? John Hassel, Marquez Matthews, what's good? I see y'all in here. Y'all hot. Let me get to some of these comments. Let me just start randomly somewhere. Leon Theo said, we need A.J. Green shooting, Doc. There's no, there's no reason A.J. Green should be playing two minutes. I want a, I want an explanation from Doc. Why you would only play AJ Green two minutes? You play Pat Connaughton twenty some minutes, he give you three points. 
the rule of thumb with Pat Connaughton is if you don't get anything within 10 minutes, sit him. You telling me if you put AJ Green in for 20 minutes, he's not getting you at least 12 points? Bucks Nation, if you put AJ Green in for 22 minutes, is he not getting you at least 12 points? Instead, you're you're relying on these washed veterans who are inconsistent, like PC, and he's giving you three points in 20 minutes. So I will say shame on Doc. I would also like to apologize to Giannis for for you having to go through this tonight. You played a you had an awesome game. Scored 20 points in a row. Then your none of the other players showed up. We could say Dame showed up a little bit in Beasley. Nobody else. We got nothing from Lopez, nothing from Middleton, nothing from Cross. I mean, nothing from the damn whole team besides them three. That's it. Damn, man. Absolutely ridiculous. I see you, Bleach Report, boss. Let me get to some of these comments. Hold on one second, bro. Let me get uh, Trina D. Red uh, Reynolds said Beasley did good. I agree. He def he had a couple stinkers and he came back today. Marquez Matthews said, "I'm sick of this team. I'm done. Second round exit. We don't have we don't have consistent effort. We can only hope that uh, moving forward and when we get in the playoffs that we turn up. That's that is the we have to get in a positive mindset, Bucks Nation." I'm just going to think in a positive format that they are going through the motions and just trying to get to the playoffs. And I'm hopeful that when the playoffs start, we should see a completely different Bucks team because what I'm seeing now is, is a disgrace. Outside of Giannis is a disgrace. It, it just is what it is. This is why I did, man, listen. We just need to get through this season, win this championship, and then we need to, I don't care what none of y'all say. I told y'all last summer, I'm going to tell y'all this the same thing this summer. We need to move on from Lopez and Middleton, regardless of when we win the championship or not. We need to move on from Middleton and Lopez. I appreciate what they've done for this team. They've been around a long time. They helped us win a championship. But we, we have to move on from both of those players. We have to move on. Uh, Brooke Lopez, his style of play, his lack of movement, he's like a Neanderthal running, running around, and gazelles are all around him. He's a Neanderthal. Gazelles are just all around him. He is just the game has passed him by. Y'all say what y'all want. He'll have a couple games hitting threes, but if you keeping it real, the game is passed by uh, Brooks' ability, keeping it real. And then Middleton is just never healthy. He's just not healthy. Then it's always an excuse. He's he got to get back in shape. This and that. He's always hurt. How can he get in shape? It's ridiculous. Gary Foster was good. PC, 22 minutes, three points. Exactly my point. AJ Green should have been in the game. Mr. Price said, if Dame and K-Mid come out aggressive, we win, period. And that's the thing. Dame has to figure that out, when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive, because he can't just wait till the fourth quarter like, oh, I hoop now. That is on Dame, I agree. K-Mid being aggressive didn't matter. He shot 12 times and hit three. That's that's but that's Middleton though. That's he's been like that his whole career. This is nothing new, but that's why we always count on playoff Middleton because we know regular season Middleton is mid, literally bars. So we just hope to get get Middleton healthy in the playoffs so he can do what he does in the playoffs. This is what Middleton does during the regular season. Don't be confused. Do not be confused. Now Dame is another thing. Now Dame started hooping in the fourth. Where was that? The first through third quarter. You weren't taking no shots. And then you start going crazy in the fourth quarter. Dang, we need consistency out of you, famo. We need consistency. You can't just wait until dire strike. Oh, I guess I, I guess I'll hoop right now. They need me, don't they? We need you the whole game, bro. We need you the whole game, Dame. Not just the fourth quarter every game with six minutes left. Then you want to put on your cape and try to save the day. How about say put your cape on in the first quarter? Let's see how that work out. I think that'll help. That'll be a lot more beneficial to this team, sir. That man had that man scored about 10 points in the fourth quarter. 
He could have did that every quarter. This game would be different. You you got to relieve pressure off of Giannis. Giannis should not have to carry the load. It's just like Dame doesn't know when to turn it on or turn it off. That's the problem. He has to understand when he needs to turn it on and when he needs to turn it off. And he can't just say, I'm going to always turn on the fourth quarter and then I'm going to chill. The first through third. No, dude. You need to be aggressive every quarter. This is ridiculous. Eric Payne, what up, bro? He said, can we trade Middleton for CJ? CJ consistent, bro. I I'll I, I probably trade Middleton for CJ, being, being real. John Hassel said, I've been trying to tell people. No, I would definitely trade Middleton for uh, CJ. My boy, Mr. Price, has said, Fax Amber. What's good, bro? Pronte said, we went to the brick layers. I know Pronte hot. I know he, he, I know he hot. Bucks number one said Giannis does everything we don't even look for. We're a veteran team that, look, that plays like idiots. That plays like we we show. You know what? If y'all want to keep it real, this team shows a lot of low basketball IQ, and I'm not sure why us being such a veteran team that we make so many low uh, basketball IQ plays. If that's what concerns me, the stuff that we have, the stuff that's wrong with this team is not talent. Is none of that. It's execution. Dot in your eyes, crossing your T's passion this is all fixable stuff but this is on the players the coach can't tell you you gotta have heart you gotta play with some dog in you a coach can't do that to you that's in that has to be within that player to want to go out there and fight I, I blame doc for the rotations yes but the effort you can't blame on doc that's the players we have way too many veterans on this team to be this sloppy with the basketball, not moving the ball, iso ball. Just we do a lot of just ignorant stuff. And it just is it's hard to watch sometimes. Because then you'll see when they play for real, like a team against OKC, you see that they have the ability to do everything that they're to to win a championship. It's just the problem is consistency with this team. And atten- you know what our biggest problem is? Is attention to detail. This team has no attention to detail. Uh, as far as even doing screens, rotating, paying attention to your man, moving your feet, and not reaching all the time, Chris Middleton, moving your feet. It's fundamentals. All the stuff that we do wrong is all fundamentals. It's not skills. It's not none of that. It's fundamentals and being smart out there. We need to show some high basketball IQ instead of this AAU, YMCA stuff we out here doing. We look lost, confused, and befuddled at points in this game. Absolutely ridiculous. Mr. Cool said if Beasley had not made shots earlier, we'd be down by 20. I agree with you. Beasley played very well tonight. Uh, Beasley played well. Eliza said they want Dame to run the offense in the fourth quarter, but he literally isn't capable. Can you uh, expand on that, Eliza? I I could swear watching this game that Dame brought us back in the fourth, but you can correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. And he's definitely capable because he showed you in game, even without Giannis, that he's capable of carrying his team in the fourth. That's what I'm saying. It's like y'all forget everything this man has done all year. He saved us in multiple games this year. He has saved us. And won multiple games without Giannis. And y'all, man, I can't wait to the playoffs start. I guarantee you he turned up in the playoffs. Kel Hardy was good. Like I said before, this team could win a chip, but I doubt it. Got a lot of things to work on. First and foremost, Dame and Giannis got to figure out how to play together and get the young guy. You you can't, the young guys, you can't even bring them up because that's, that's on the coach to put them in the game. That's Doc. Uh, we got to get Pat Connaughton going. No, we need to get AJ going because AJ is on fire all the time, sir. No, we don't need to get Pat Connaughton going. AJ Green is already cooking. AJ Green is like a Hellcat or Scat Pack. Pat Connaughton is a Honda Accord. What are you doing, Doc? What are you doing? Moron sometimes. How do we see more uh, see the basketball game better from uh, from home than this dude does right in, right in 4K? He got to get it together. Sandra Stevenson said, "Doc, doc, doc, yeah, 
He has something to blame, but uh, it's the players. Timothy Modell, Dame is overrated. Why don't you go check his stats and look at the games he's won, sir? Thank you. Try 414 said, I ain't liking these rotations from Doc lately. They're weird. I agree. They're definitely weird. Uh, Decode 123 said, pitiful. Our favorite op is in the building. Let's get to you, bro. I know you was going to come in here. No strays, ENT. Shout out to our chat's favorite op. Uh, appreciate the 499 super chat. I'm just here to say my man's with the funny hat. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. WFSO, shout out to you. That was unnecessary. That's why y'all lost too. Don't come in here talking too slick. Y'all Boston lost too in dramatic fashion. And the great uh, Drew Holiday got cooked today by uh, DeJounte Murray. So relax a little bit. Clark Sports Media, what's good? Clark Sports Media says Dame was butted versus the Lakers. He did not play well, but he did hit a lot of big shots late, though, didn't he, Clark Sports Media? Who hit some big shots late? Was it Dame? Just let me know in the comment section. Just, I just, I just, I don't remember. If you can refresh my memory a little bit, I could swear Dame hit some big shots in that game down the stretch and in OT. And I, if I recall correctly, if Chris Middleton wouldn't have been a moron on defense, Dame would have had the game winner. I could have been seeing something different. I could have been in the multiverse. So just correct me if I'm wrong, Clark Sports Media, on what happened in that Lakers game. Just, just refresh my memory a little bit. Just a little bit. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Some people just come and fly off the cuff and don't have receipts. Y'all got to understand, <laughs> I'm IT. I'm all analytics. I always have receipts. All up here. I always got the receipts. Let me tap into Bleacher Report, boss. You ready, bro? All right. Tap into Bleacher Report, boss here. Fresh off of vacation. Fresh off of vacation. What's good, bro? Hey, you kind of stuck. You good? Okay. Hey, tap back in. I don't know what's going on uh, on your side of the game, bro. Yeah, I don't know what's. All right, I'm gonna just tap back in. Let me put the link in the chat. Hold on one second, y'all. It's like, man, some of y'all got short term memory. Amtrak's was good. Offense hasn't looked fluid the entire game since Middleton's back. Look like they're still adjusting. Outstanding comment. Outstanding comment. Hold on one second. Here we go. Let me get to Eliza's super chat. Appreciate the super chat, Eliza. Five dollars. What's good? He is a cat with GA in the game. Stand, uh, stand there and uh, get shots. GA comes back in. The four DL refuses to pass to GA. Hold on one second. He refuses to pass to GA. He gets zero touches by Dame Little uh, led offense in the four. They got to figure that out. They got to figure that out. Mr. Cool said, Dr. Smith, help me with, and Pronte, help me what's going on. You, you have a point, though, Liza. Appreciate the $5 super chat. Let me try to tap some of y'all in now. Hopefully, I have no internet issues here. Hold on. There we go. You good now. Go ahead. Go ahead and cook real quick. You got me? Yeah, yeah. You good now. Yeah. Oh, man, my bad. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch this game. So I was not really happy to, you know, try to fight through with trying to watch a game. Right. And um and knowing what's going what you know, where the pattern is, I, I probably see that Brooke Lopez didn't play well at all, probably again. Mm -hmm. Played like three points that I saw. And same thing over and over again with this team. And I wish that <sighs> well, I, what we gotta do. What we gotta say to get AJ Green these games, man? It's Bro, just... that's this AJ Green Come thing on. is killing me. This AJ Green thing yeah. is killing me. It's... It, 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 you put you Pat can't, if, if Pat, if Pat isn't doing anything within ten minutes, 
You gotta you gotta sit him, bro. You gotta sit him. You gotta sit him. I don't I don't get it. I I don't get why they're they're relentlessly trying to play these guys and say, oh, we need to get Pat go content going. Since when? Since when? Like you see AJ can give you ten points off the off the rip. And you still were oh, you wanna put it on the these um these veterans. Hold on one second. Yeah. It's it, it just to me, they're being hard headed, being very hard headed team. There's a lot of people getting here. That's probably why it's going so crazy. Yeah, it's a plenty of people in here. Hold on, I'm gonna tap. Um, hey, I'm gonna tap some yeah, of y'all out because uh, there's so many of y'all in here. Just give me a second. Let me let these dudes uh, cook for a minute. Then I'm gonna have y'all tap back in. I'm gonna click y'all out for a minute. I'm gonna have y'all tap back in in a minute. Hold on. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm better now. All right. So I want. Right. Yeah. My my thing is. <clears throat> my thing is, this team can win a championship, but they just play so dumb basketball. And you know, see, watching Boston lose the way they did, and how we've been cooking Boston fans and um strays. Like we told you, we told you, Drew ain't ain't that guy. And we got the guy with Dane, but he just need to figure this out. You know, how long it going to take him to figure this out? But I'm not going to sit here and try to badmouth the guy because right. he's not playing well. You know, it just – and then somebody said to me, oh, well, you just covered for Dane. I'm like, well, that's what we have to do. That's our team. I'm not going to sit here and bash the guy and try to get him kicked off the team because he ain't doing it quickly. You know, it's just – they got they to figure this out together. And – I just, you're right. Lopez got to go. And Milton got to go. They got to go. Some of y'all, they got to, what up, Stacy? I see you in the chat, too. What up, Stacy? Jen saw. Yeah, it just, Milton got, Milton, he, look at his, his shoes worse than Dame's. Right, hold Everybody on one sec. Hold on, hold on one second, one second. Clark Sports Media, do you want to, you want to join the live, sir? Give me a second. We just, the stream is lagging. But feel free to tap in in a minute. Hey, Jeff, give me a second. The stream, was too many people in the in the green room. Give me a second, bro. I want to let them talk, then I'm going to have y'all tap in. Clark Sports Media, feel free to tap in. Because I can swear Dame done won us quite a few games this season, sir. So if you want to chat, game. feel free to tap in. I got time. Go ahead, Bleach Report, boss. And then I'm going to have Brandon go. And then we're going to tap some okay. more people here in a minute. Go, uh, go ahead. Right. Um, um, Dame won us a lot of games this year. No, so I don't, I what you, I don't know what he's talking about, but they've been winning us a lot of games this year. You know, if y'all scored thirty points and we still lose, you still gonna say y'all won us games? We won games when the bench go off and y'all. And Thank you. Have you points. have to have some bench scoring. <laughs> Thank you. Twenty five. When he got twenty five points or more, we only lost one game. Thank you. So I don't want to hear that. Look at the, look at the number. Before you say anything, I'm talking just trying to tell you facts because you watched every game. I can't even. I'm I'm mad as hell. I couldn't even watch the game tonight because NBA TV got a little thing of um block. I mean back I mean, back where black all that uh, crap. One second, Mr. So, cool. That's a valid point that we should have <clears throat> uh instead of Pat Connaughton's minutes uh Beverly for AJ Green. But I understand from Doc's perspective, you even if Beverly can't shoot, he can still play tough defense. And I think that that's where that's where I would differ with you in there, and I would say Pat Connaughton, because Pat Connaughton and uh, AJ Green's d defense are more aligned on the same level. And I guarantee you, in 22 minutes, that uh, AJ Green is going to have you at least 12 to 15 points. Easy work, easy work. We um for last before I let Brandon go, I was going to huh. say this: this team need to wake up. This team need to wake up. Playoffs start soon. Ain't no time playing no games. I know it's a. I know you guys are going against bottom feeder teams, but this ain't the time right now to lose games. Right now, it's no, not, the not at all. Not, not at the all. It's not the time to lose games like this because you know you can easily be three right now or four or whatever. It, I don't even care about the seating. The seating doesn't matter. We have to come in on some type of rhythm. Third, well, fourth, second on. seed, none of that matters if we don't come in uh, the playoffs with some type of rhythm and some type of identity. 
We still don't have an identity. We just got some hoopers. We still hoopers. you nobody on this on this panel or in the chat can tell me what this team's identity is. Nobody, because we don't have one. We just have hot streaks where Dame will get hot, Giannis get hot. We just win games, but we don't have any. We don't have anything that's our bread and butter. We don't have any go to or pet plays. We don't have no uh, what are the the death lineup like Golden State War. We don't got none of that. We just who? We just who? This is figure it out every game. That's what it is. Figure it out. Will you get off or I get off? You go ahead, Brandon. Go ahead, Brandon. Hey, Brandon, you sitting there like Socrates. Come on, bro. What is what's going on, bro? Go ahead, Brandon. Uh, we got you lagging a little oh, bit, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, you lagging. Hey, let me let me punch you out for a minute. You lagging. I know. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap back in in a minute. Let me tap you in. Let me see if you good. There you go. Go oh, ahead, Mr. Hey, Doc Smith. Let's good. Yeah. Let's cook. Go ahead. What's going on? Not a good night tonight, ball. right? Right. Oh, uh, we look so bad. We were trash. We were so trash tonight. It was uh, uh. so I'm not I'm not gonna stay for too long. I, okay. I just wanted to offer a perspective, right? On on what we're seeing, right? So we're forty six and twenty seven now, I think, right? Which means we play seventy three, which means that we got what, nine games left? Mm -hmm. Nine games. They're playing like that. That's, That's what, what I said. They're just trying to get to the playoffs. They're going through the motions. Exactly. They are the definite. This was the definition of going through the motions, right? Yeah, that's because what we were so all right. ass tonight. We were so ass tonight at everybody. I'm looking at some of these individual stats. Chris Middleton had seven points, eight rebounds, six assists. I would like Troll. someone to please look up the plus minus for Chris Middleton on what we look like when he was on the court versus what we look like when he was off the court. While you're at it, someone please explain to me how Brooke Lopez has another game with less than 10 rebounds. This time, less than six rebounds. He had five rebounds in this game. Five. Yeah. I'd rather you not even get to playing if you're going to do that. <laughs> Just stay at home, man. You got small children, play with your children, help them with their homework. Just stay at home, man. Just be a family man for the weekend. You didn't want to come down here to New Orleans. Shout out to my boss who gave me a whole bunch of paperwork before I got off of the job today, which oh. made it so that I couldn't get to the game, right? Which was aggravating me at first because if I would have paid money to watch this game, I probably would have got locked up. Troll harder, it, brother. It's that. <coughs> it's that. It was that bad, man. We're terrible. We played terrible. I don't think we're a terrible team. I just think that we played like we don't care anymore about the regular season. And I'll leave you with this. I'm very much like you. For me, it's a rhythm thing. Right. You're going into the playoffs playing like you 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 can't be bothered. And and I feel like honestly that was the energy that we had. Uh well, I can't even say that was the energy that we had last year. Last year, we actually took, we we played more, we cared more, and we just went into that series and choked it away or whatever. But right. this, the, I don't like the body. I don't like the energy. I don't like the intelligence at all. I don't think it's a coaching thing because I don't think that you should have to tell grown men to care about basketball. Mm -hmm. That's I what I said. This is on the players. You, you can't blame the coach for these dudes not having no dog in them or not playing with intensity. The Bucks don't play for real till six minutes left in the game in his dire straits, and then all of a sudden they they want to go super saiyan. I just understand why you don't do that the whole game. And put your put your foot in there. It go. No, I'm I'm asking y'all like you can you've seen you've seen this team be dynamic like they were against the OKC. Then you see them yeah. just fumble fumble the bag against the Lakers. We gave that game away. Dame hit the game winner for all intents and purposes, and then Chris Middleton is reaching. Why are you reaching? It's so I just wanted to say something this real quick. This team makes but, more mental mistakes than they should for a championship caliber team. It's the mental part. It's the me it's all care. mental. None of this is skill or player problems. We don't have problems with skill. Dame is a great player. Middleton has skill. Giannis is an outstanding player. It's mental. It's all up here. Boxing out, 
diving for loose balls, knowing knowing how to uh, rotate. That's all IQ. This team Fonta shows Mental low basketball, basketball IQ on a regular basis. Fonta regular basis. So I seen someone say that Giannis was minus two plus, or uh, was minus two. The plus minus is an asinine measure of a player, though. It depends on what unit you're out with. Partially correct. That's right. That's Eliza who made that comment. Partially correct. I do agree that the plus minus that it needs more analysis. That the stat by itself you can't really use to determine whether or not a player is playing well. It depends on who is messing up when that player was on the court. So now I ask you that, that again, zeroing in on Chris, how many turnovers did he have tonight? Because he was had trapped. four turnovers. If you were giving me the argument that Giannis was a, so if you were giving me the argument that Giannis was a minus two, but he played well, I would tell tell you that Giannis played well in the third quarter and it made up for everything that right. was going wrong in the first half. They were all terrible in the first half. Giannis at the end of the last game or in an interview after the last game, they asked him one of the things that was wrong. He said the ball was sticking. It was poor ball movement. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching the Bucks play in the first half. Mm -hmm. And it was as if no one heard that because the ball wasn't moving. So they were all bad. In the first half. It's just that Giannis decided that I wasn't going to be bad uh, in the second half and I'm going to take the game over. And he did. So it was almost like it washed away that terrible first half that everyone had. But then in the <laughs> fourth quarter, when you want your closers to be aggressive, no one was being aggressive. Well, the, the right people weren't being aggressive. And it's just, like you said, it's an IQ thing. It's, it's not even an IQ thing. It's an effort thing. They don't care about these last couple of games. And yeah, I think I they're just trying to go through emotion. Now. It's almost like the end of the school year. Like you're about to graduate, and it's just that last uh, last two weeks of school. You're not listening to no teachers. You walk in the halls. You just trying to get to graduation. That's how this feels. Cause that's how I was. Like, eh, I, I'm going to three lunches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's just that's how it looks. That's just that's just how it looks. You laugh right in the teacher's face. Your teacher tries to give you homework. It's two weeks left. You laugh right in the teacher's face. <laughs> right. I'm already out of here. I'm already out homework. of here. So that's what right. I want to say that I think is the positive. Is I think that this you'll see a much different Bucks team in intensity once the playoffs come around. And the Clark Sports Media, Dame shot 50% from the field, from the three. He had five rebounds, seven assists, and two turnovers. You still want to talk? The link is in the chat, sir. You either wear a, sk <laughs> well, you either I, wear a skirt I, or trousers. You pick. Skirt or trousers. Carry on. So so I I, I feel like this. So and I'll leave you with this then. Um and this is a positive note. I came in here ready to to pour. I was gonna say, let's pour out one um Pat Bell. Because when I heard that he had torn the ligament in his wrist, I said, Oh, he's out for the rest of the season. If he has the surgery, he's done. Mm -hmm. And it was something that bummed me out because you know, for the 20 seconds that he's been in Milwaukee. He's made an impact. Right. And I see him out there tonight. Now, he didn't look good. You can see that he's bothered. But the man is trying to play basketball. He's one of the mm -hmm. older guys on the team, and he's out there giving effort. So that's that's the the what I'm going to leave on, right? There right. are guys in this team that have not, if they've gone to the playoffs, they haven't gone very far, far at right. all, right? But I don't think that they are going to allow – some of the fat, lazy, contented guys who've won championships to be fat, lazy, and contented when the playoffs start because they're right. going to be hungry. And I'm hoping that that yeah, rubs translates. off on them. I agree yeah, with you. Because individual players on this team may have had success. Different iterations of the Bucks may have had success. But this iteration of the Bucks has not gone to the playoffs before. We haven't gone to the playoffs right. before with Damian as point guard right we haven't gone to the playoffs before with an aging becoming useless brooke lopez as our center i'm not gonna bully him tonight wow i'm just gonna say brooke i, I brooke say something nice about brooke brooke is really tall and that's all <laughs> i say about brooke. that's that's it I, I, i'm i'm he's really tall i just i just read, I just read that dame got, oh sorry is it, i just read that dame had a um he had to get Stitched off his lip. 
Yeah. He got that's why he was only buzzing on the bench in the third quarter. Mm. Yeah, I ain't seen that. That's why he wasn't on the bench in the third quarter. Mm. I don't know what Bobby Porter's problem was tonight, but he was terrible he tonight. He could have flown terrible. home at halftime. He could have flown home at halftime too, right? It's so. Uh, <laughs> I, I I I'll I'll have that positive energy when the Bucks give me a reason to be something to have. Give me a reason to be positive because right now they are just. Yeah, I agree. I don't know, be- but it, you know what I mean. It is is. Eight more games and we're in the playoffs. So I, I can't wait. I'm excited. I, I think they're going to be a different team. I'm hoping they're going to be a different team. I'm hoping I'm not being delusional. I'm, I'm hoping they don't let me down. But So in eight games, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. absolutely. Let me get this super chat right. off and let, then let you finish your statement. Uh, Montalando, I'm appreciate out, the fight. Oh, you out? Okay, hold on one second. One second. You got to get your outro. Hold on. Don't. Yeah, yeah, we, hey, it's respect here, sir. Hold on. What's it? How long are we going to keep saying wait till the playoffs? How long are we going to say Doc needs to add green? Hold on one second. You cooking, Montalando. Uh, how long are we going to say yeah, Doc bro, needs yeah, to yeah. add green to the lineup? Let me keep it 100. Uh, That's we, what we I'm gotta, we, We're trying That's to be optimistic. Gonna... we just trying to That's be opti- say, optimistic. That's all. Here's a perspective on the younger guys not playing, right? right? I definitely think the younger guys give energy tonight. I think Doc knows that he's having a problem with these older guys giving effort, and he's not letting them off the hook. So he's saying, no, you guys got to go out there because y'all are going to be the ones to get the major minutes in right. the playoffs. And I think there's a little bit of a tug of war because guys are just not giving the effort. There's right. No, no, that's it. It's the effort, the energy. Yeah. Mr. Cool said it in, in, in the chat. He said you're going 120. Uh, um, uh, Giannis is at 125 miles per hour, and Dame is at 59. Like it, they got to figure out a way to make that, that mi- make that come together. That's a great comment, Mr. Cool. Salute. And that's what it is. Dame plays almost like at a Chris Paul pace. You know what I'm saying? A slower, yeah. more methodical pace, and Giannis is more up and down. They got to figure out some type of balance. That that that's true. I agree. You you know what I mean. So it's just I, I I think that's a perfect comment. Right, and I, then I no have, strays. Hold on one second, no strays. Damn it! Appreciate the four ninety nine super chat to our favorite. I I peeped the Bucks game plan. Can't blow a twenty point lead if you down twenty all game. Genius. Yeah, is the and the genius is you can't lose two uh team two twice in a row with no Trey Young. How about that? <laughs> right. I love I love the clubs in Atlanta. Bam I love the clubs in Atlanta. I love clubbing in Atlanta. No strays. You should go down there. All right. Let me tap some of these people in, though, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Dr. Smith, appreciate you tapping in. My man, Bleach Report Boss, I'll holler at y'all. Let me tap these cats in. All right. I know. uh, Zeke, first timer. I don't know if you've ever been in the the live before. What's good? Tapping you in now, sir. All right, there we go. We got Zeke in here. We got Pronte. Pronte look very happy today. <laughs> he hot. Yo, I knew you was hot, bro. I knew you was hot. I knew you was Yo, hot. What's up, Amara? What's Can going on, me? bro? How you doing? I'm I'm good. Um, I just want before I give my take, I just want to say I love and appreciate everything you do. Like it's oh. it's very important for us Bucks fans. But yeah. <laughs> Appreciate I have a you, question, bro. Amara. Yeah. Like, how 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 big are Brooks' hands? <laughs> oh no, bro, that was wild. Like, <laughs> bro, that was ill. I don't know, bro. I Yo, I just think he's just I, not athletic, fam. I know what you're getting at. Why he? Why is he not grabbing rebounds? Why is he? I understand what you saying. That oh, approach man. it was just left field, bro. It's nasty, I, I, I just man. don't think like, he that's never been his game though, bro. Uh Brooke ain't never really been a big rebounder. He used to be like a post guy back when he was younger, uh-huh. but he's never really been a rebounder. And that hurts us because he's a seven footer and he's getting out rebounded mm-hmm. by our guards. Uh, he might have got yeah, uh out, let me see who out rebounded him on our team got, today. He, one second. Hold on, one second. Okay. Brooke had five rebounds, Middleton had eight, Dame had five rebounds, Giannis had eleven. Bobby Portis has six rebounds. So that's ridiculous as a seven footer. That's crazy. Like there was one play, I think it was in the third or fourth quarter, where um CJ McCollum out rebounded him on the offensive board. <laughs> out 
Man, How do you I expect was, the I was unathletic player to make a move? That's what I'm saying. We should have never re-signed this dude. I was saying it from the mountaintops. Do not re-sign yeah, like, Brooke Lopez. And I, I should start calling y'all out by name in the chat. If y'all know who y'all are, y'all should stand up and apologize because y'all was sitting here yelling and screaming. Oh, he almost won defensive player of the year. How do you trade someone like that? He's a big asset to the team. I said, like, you I sell think... high before the bottom comes out. The bottom has now come out. Now what are we going to get for Brooke Lopez? Right, huh? right, Middleton right. has suffered right. another injury. How much are we going to get for him in the offseason? Because now he looks like damaged goods. Middleton right. is like a female that's been in too many bad relationships, but still cute. It's, it's disgusting. But yeah, like, like Doc Rivers, you gotta tell Brooke like to get down in the paint, like on off get some offensive boards. Like there was plays where Larry Nance is Larry Nance is like the, the what's his name Valachunas. He wasn't right. on the court. Larry Nance Zion, he's the biggest dude on the court, and like um, Middleton, like the 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 space is full. I mean, the the floor is Middleton. spaced, and they're not five out. He's always hovering around the three point line. It's ridiculous. It, it, it's just it, this is ridiculous. Hey, Pronte, you on mute too, bro? I don't know if you uh, got it on purpose, but you. Yeah, on mute. I, was just, I was just let my man speak. I was on mute. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Pronte. Man, y'all keep giving damn excuses. I'm kind of tired of that, and I'm tired of y'all giving. And, and Middleton, we don't give Middleton excuses. Middleton and Dame is the same player. What are we talking about here? We know we've seen this before. Right. Dame is Middleton from three years ago. But better, he, that's it. Inconsistent, wildly inconsistent. Right. <laughs> will give you one game and then not show up for three. Mm -hmm. You know that's we we been there before. That's Middleton. That's Chris Middleton three years ago. So we know that that's still a good combination with Giannis. But if he played out in the playoff, we done it. And, and this and this right. this competition, we're done. And we know that and he hasn't proven that he can do. That more than that, and that's really becoming a problem, man. Like, dude is becoming a problem. Like, I know he shot fifty percent. He got ten points in the last three minutes, two minutes of the game. The game but that's what I said. Over. Why is he waiting so and late to start? Garbage yeah, now, I, I, I agree. You that, like, they you can't take points. I agree. Minutes off in the game, and then play the last two minutes. Like, man, come on. You got to look. That's losing basketball. Right, I agree. And you know, now you looking like a guy that don't know how to win a championship. Mm -hmm. Because your mentality ain't right, you know what I mean. It's yep. a mentality. Hey, that Kobe cooking. never, Kobe never came out like that. Right. Kobe came out from the first yep. quarter, the second quarter, the third That's quarter. That's what I'm so saying. saying. You can't play I'm half saying the gotta game. You got to be Kobe, but it's aggressiveness. Right. Got to be like Kobe. You know, you got to be aggressive, man. You can't just be aggressive when it, when it's hero ball time. That, so you, I, mean, I, I feel like you living off of that. I feel like you living. Stop living off that. Don't you want to win a championship? Because if you keep playing hero ball, the game gonna be over by the third quarter. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Yeah, that's the Why is he waiting well, he to put on the cape? Why are you waiting? That's what I, it's a mentality it's, thing. It's a mentality it's, it's thing. It's a you mentality thing. But that's what he's known for. You know, that's his brand. And, and that, to me, that's soft. Like stop being that soft brand. Like, right. oh yeah, I'm only gonna do it in the last quarter. But you might get knocked out in the first round. Thank hey, you. What are you talking about? You Thank might get you. knocked out in the first two minutes. What is he talking about, man? Like, and this is what he's been doing all year, and Up that's and a down. problem. That's, yep. that's a problem. Like, we need a a player that's gonna just be like, you know what, I want it all right. game long. You know, not just in the fourth. Just keep it close for me in the fourth, man. Please, ooh. man, we could have got like, Robert. Orr. Like Mr. Cool said, Giannis is running at 125 miles per hour. Dame is running at 59, and the rest of the team is running at 50. Let's keep it real. I mean, Dame, ain't no, Dame ain't got no excuse because he got no. too much talent. I agree. That mentality. Like, it's a mentality thing. It ain't the talent thing. Because you've like, seen him be aggressive. You've seen him be aggressive through four quarters. He'll have forty points if he's aggressive he's, through four quarters. If he's a, if he's aggressive, if he like Giannis has never asked Dame to defer. Right. You know the only reason why we we got back in the game was Giannis twenty point four third, uh, quarter. third quarter. Third because quarter. Yeah. Giannis said, "What wait? I'm excuse me. Giannis said, yeah. forget waiting on day. I'm finna just do what I do.'" Right, I'm tired of waiting right. on Dame and Chris Middleton to show up. 
Right. <laughs> and that's all that was. He didn't pass the ball. There was no ball movement. That was Giannis like, come on, stop me if you can. And that's what we need. Sometimes Dame need to do that. I agree. But Dame he's, he's, busy waiting he has a passive mindset. His, his, his demeanor is passive. There's no aggression in his demeanor. He's never had aggression. It, 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 like, and it's like, but yeah. It's that too it's cool like for school. Wasting. Yeah, he too cool too for cool school for sometimes. School. Yeah. He's too school. <laughs> like, look, and then we like, we like, we just hoping. And you know, we hoping because we Bucks fans. Right. <laughs> so we got to hope. We hoping that this ain't the playoff version of Dang. Because we no, know I agree. the playoff version of Dang. Giannis is going to be humping his ass off because Dang going to wait. Yeah, we... He's going to be like, keep the game close. And that, you can't win a championship waiting for somebody to come through the last three minutes of the game. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. Man, like, dude, need to step up the whole game. It's time to show us right. championship basketball. mentality and focus. Dame, we don't, we saw a damn time. We, we know you can do it still. We know that. We right. know you, we know you can knock down a shot at the end of the game. But so could Robert Ori. So could Steve <laughs> Kirk. So could <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Hold on. That was, that was bars no, right there. Nasty. That was that's bars nasty. right there. No, no, no. That I'm that was heavy you. right there. I he feel a, you on that one. Play like an elite player the whole game. You take defensive plays off. You take offensive plays off. You take plays off. Period. Like, it, this whole game, you play no defense. None. You and Beasley on the Laker game, I watched it briefly enough to know that y'all killed that game on defensively. You can look at the box score. You can do whatever you want. Y'all shot poorly. And y'all messed up every switch y'all had on the on the back end. Every switch y'all messed up. And them guards ate you up for doing that. And that's why y'all right. lost. And y'all didn't take it seriously because y'all never do. Because all y'all want to see is BZ just want to get his shots up. That's what he truly want. <laughs> and Dame just wait for the, that time. So you see what I'm saying? Game. Hey, look at look what Montalondo just said. Appreciate the five dollar super chat. Yeah. Dame plays too nonchalant for three quarters, then steps up when there's five minutes left in the fourth. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We don't want close games all the time. We want right. to end right. the game, right. sit, your, sit down, rest your knees. You know what is up with that man? That's crazy. And somebody need to talk to him about that. It's called coaching. You know, that's we gotta hold thing. Doc accountable that's for some of this. We gotta hold that's Doc a, accountable for some. That's of an this. ego thing, and a, and a, a big reason why they lost is. Doc, Doc got an eagle too. Doc, let me tell you something. You see Valachunas too big for Bobby Porter's and Giannis in the, that lineup. How could you go 10 minutes with that lineup? That's the reason why y'all got down 12 points. Put Brook, as, as good as Brook Lopez, he's not a liability in this matchup. Right, he in was, this matchup. Lopez, in this matchup in particular, Bobby Porter's is the liability. Not, But, but you have to, that's what you're there for, coach. You saw Bobby Porter getting cooked. You saw that. You saw Bobby Porter getting cooked. Manhandle. He he was trying to bully him, but it didn't work. Right. Like, man, get him to pass in somebody that can keep him off the block, and and that's it. That's all you had to do. And you see, as soon as they took Bobby Porter out the game, and he didn't come back in the game, they made a run. Because that's it was, valid. It was cause, that's because that, and then they tried to overcome that law that lead for the whole game. But what game. about him? What about Giannis being sat for four minutes in the fourth quarter too? I felt I mean, that that was about too. Giannis not touching the ball. Nah. This is what Liz is talking yeah. about. Giannis didn't touch the ball the whole fourth quarter. Right. That yeah, was that's crazy. Asinine. Like the only person cooking on your team didn't touch the ball because y'all was deferring to Mister Hero Ball. Right. And Mister Hero Ball didn't have enough hero in him today. Right. I mean, because you had to play defense too. You right. know what I mean? In order for air ball to work and you down, you actually have to play defense. You can't just rely on your shot making. You got to actually play defense because all they got to do is score a couple points and game over. We got but no key happen. stops, and we haven't played good defense the last four quarters, including the overtime. The last from, from my thing last is just six, like, seven quarters, we haven't played any good defense. I mean, they play. I mean, they only had, scored 110. So it was it. But if you down 10, you got to lock in. It's all about the defense. I don't care. We needed what some stops say? down the stretch that we didn't get. Our defense wasn't trash today. They shot thirty nine percent. No defense wasn't trash. Right. It was just trash for one quarter, and that's and when that's you what bought hurt. Pop in. That's when you bought pop reporters in. That was when it was trash. The other part about it was it was just like, damn, show up. All we need is a little offense. All you gotta do, Giannis carried the twenty. You give us a good game, we pull this game out. You know, because shout out to the Pelicans, they're a good team. They're not right. a bad team. 
But, it's not but a, you know what? Well, you know what we're not addressing. I didn't hear you mention yet. We got to talk about our bench. We didn't get anything from the bench again. Oh yeah, because because, because we don't play nobody young. We we our no bench players. is absolutely was terrible. You got today. Pat Bav, and I keep saying I put it in chat. Man, Pat Bav's a liability now. Yeah, he's a liability now. He can't shoot. How you gonna shoot with a messed up wrist? Teams are gonna realize that he's gonna be even more of a liability. I don't care what nobody say. He's not making a shot with that wrist. So what does that mean? If you pass it to him in the corner, he's probably going to miss. So I'm going to leave him open every time. So that's yep. a liability. And they had that line up in with Bobby Portis, and that's when that run started. Because right. there so was that goes back to Mr. Offense. Cool points, the saying that Pat Bev's minutes should be reduced to get A.J. Green some more minutes. You should have put A.J. Green in the game. You should have took Gabe Brook a little rest and put him back in the game. Because if you the pass the corner and there's AJ Green in the game, you got a different offense. Correct. You know, all they did was all they did was pack a zone and zone it up and say we're gonna just pack a zone on Giannis. It's like that and side wall. They did like a different version of the wall for against Giannis. They did they a just, different they, they version. Just, they just did a squeak, they just squoze they two, they played a two, three zone. Mm -hmm. They just squoze the middle in. And they say, Well, Giannis gonna get the ball in the middle. Uh, then we're gonna we don't even have to run out to Pat Bass, so we can just stay right here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We don't have who's the other shooter, who's the other shooter on the court, Bobby Portis, and he well, was off this game. Yep, that's that was fair. it. So you had no offense in the game, and that was the bottom line. You had no offense in the game in the second quarter, and that was on Doc. You need Giannis and Middleton in the game. If Dame, if you think Dame is the player, you think he can run the offense by himself. He right. doesn't run a pick and roll like Giannis and Middleton run a pick and roll. And that's on Dane, because if you can, if I can sit here and I'm a great player, right, and I see that pick and roll works with Giannis, if I run it like Milton, why am I not trying that? You why see, are they not practicing that? that? I, but, but how hard is it? Yeah, I agree with you. I agree how with you. Like, all Milton does is drive in a little bit. It's all they ain't got to do is drive in a little bit instead repetition, of just going no, out. Repetition makes it's, you great, sir. Repetition makes you great. Giannis is rolling. And Middleton is and Dame is standing out on three pointer. Just imagine if he just dro drove in a little bit. They're gonna come to Dame. They're going to come to Dame. He's gonna get an easy shot layup, or he's gonna get a lob. That's all Middleton does the whole game with Giannis, and it works every single time. It'll work even more with Dame, but Dame refuse. He just wants to shoot step back three pointers. So we can say some of this is Giannis, some of this is Dame too. Oh, great! Dame, Dame they're both, has, they're both that ball. He sees the game because that pick and roll is way better. Yeah, you ain't getting a three point shot. Maybe you get an easy mid range shot, but that might get you in rhythm. You're right. You know, you can't stop, can't stop wanting offense your way all the time. And that's the thing that he wants offense his way and he doesn't like it nobody else's way. And you can tell that's why it's so hard for him to fit in. Every guard, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, every guard that shoots with Giannis, plays with Giannis, usually shoots a higher percentage. But dang. And it's because Dane wants offense his way. You've been saying it all year. You used to run a show in Portland, blah, blah, blah. You want it this way. But now you run with Giannis, it's different because you got to share the ball. You got a star that can score a bucket every time. And now you, but you like to do the step back three. You like to do the, you know, your game. So, you know, if game, if Dane goes with efficiency, we win all the time. I, I agree. If he goes with, nah, unless we somebody my, else. Said that. Yeah, we got my man from the Bahamas. Gibson Nicholas, go ahead and let us know how you feel today, sir. Peace and love, peace and love. Greetings, greetings to Box Nation. Good night to your guests. Appreciate to have you on the live. Pronte, Amber. And yeah, we got Zeke. Uh, we got a first timer, Zeke. I don't think you tapped in before, right, Zeke? Yeah, it's my first time. Yeah, first time. Okay, salute peace, to you, bro. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Now, Amber, I'm going to MP tonight. Thank you, thank you. I ain't going to. Empty the clip. I am going to empty the whole clip of the chamber tonight. <laughs> I am going to empty the clip tonight. First topic is first topic. Now, this message is for the general manager. This goes to the general manager this and the organization the in the hands manager, of agreement. Not the GM, but the general manager. <laughs> this, is, this is this goes for him, the assistant. The owners, this one goes to him. I hope John Oss is watching this show. And I appreciate he take his pen, his paper and pen and take plenty of notes. Because first of all, I need Middleton out of Milwaukee, Lopez out, 
Beasley out. <laughs> Draft a young center for the love of the game, what? please, to save this team from falling in a hole. Number two, Giannis, this offseason, no going to Greece at all. Get a fire Josh Oppenheimer and hire a shooting coach. Please. Number three, <laughs> get us some young guys who have the dog mentality in them who wants to win to fit this culture. Get these dopey bums off the team. Periodly, every last one of them needs to be left in New Orleans and let them ride the bus home. Number four, <laughs> boom. You got to wake up, man. They, they, them, you are toting 99% of the blame tonight. Mm -hmm. I ain't giving them no free pass tonight. I, I ain't giving nobody no, no free pass one. tonight. I ain't calling it. I ain't calling it. A nobody. spade is a spade. I'm, but I ain't giving nobody the breaks. I can get to Lopez in a minute. I can get to him in a minute. <laughs> now, then, you sh should be ashamed and embarrassed of yourself why number one you let your old former teammate cj mccollum outplayed you tonight that's an embarrassing to this no, organization thanks. number two you gotta fit in with Giannis. you have to learn that Giannis have a championship and you don't you can't always have it your way the fact have to fall in line and say okay Giannis is the one with the championship experience i can follow your lead i right. can follow your lead the minute right. you see Giannis starting to get double team, you're supposed to be running the offense, getting everybody involved. Number three, Brooke Lopez. Oh, my goodness. That big, goofy, tall-looking, snanky <laughs> giant who can't catch a rebound for nothing. Get the likes nothing. up. The Bahamas is in his bag. Hold on, hold on. Get the likes up, Bucks Nation. Don't y'all um, see this man is calling in from the Bahamas? Um, he is in his um, bag. Um, um, he is in his bag. Hey, um, Zeke, I'm going to tap you out for a minute, bro. It's a whole bunch um, of people bro. here. I got to get him in here, Zeke. But appreciate you tapping in, bro. Uh, cook, uh, call back in a, a few, bro. Okay. All right. All right. Let me tap in. Uh, my um, man. Amber, Amber, I, I come in the chat to clean up host tonight. I come to clean up host front. I ain't giving nobody no free breaks at all tonight. None at all. I got one for the coach, what, too. What? I can get to him in a minute. Uh, one second, one second, uh, one second. Hey, Bonalando, you don't got no video, bro. And it says you muted. I don't, I don't know what you got going on, bro. Okay, we see a little there something now. All right, there we go. You you kind of straight now. Okay. So, <laughs> Why are you right, smiling like that? Yeah, my bad. What's good? Yeah, now we got you. Now we got you. Okay, go ahead, Gibson. Then we gonna have Bonalando uh tap in. Appreciate you, bro. I'm going to have you tap in in okay. one second, fam. I'll go ahead, Gibson. Okay, now we have... Yeah, you're reason, my bad, my bad. The reason okay. why I don't... Uh, hold on one second, bro. Let Gibson finish his thought, and then it's on you, Manalano. One second. Go ahead, Gibson. Oh, okay, Amber. Now we have that big, the, the tallest man on our team. Kian getting out rebound by a guy. This is embarrassing him and Middleton this offseason. They need to tell the organization, okay, here is the money we signed this offseason. We can retire or go somewhere on an island and disappear. Number three, Dark Rivers for the love of the game. You stupid, I hate to say it, but I have to say it. Stupid, stubborn old man for the love of him. You got Andre Jackson, you got Chris Livingston, you got AJ Green, you get all these young cats on the bench. You Talk refuse, to you refuse to play him why is that and john Ross need to get involved into this he need to get involved into this and find out why is the young guys are not playing in this game why this team continue to continue to embarrass the bucks community the fan base and the city this is not a good sign amber we have right. to get it right or else we can get another second round exit. And you know what can happen? Giannis could say he won out. I turn the floor over to you now. All right, that's me. I turn the floor <laughs> over to you now. All right, we got my man Malanda. What's good, bro? Hey, you lost the camera again. It's on you, fam. There you go. It's on you, bro. How yeah. you feeling, fam? 
Yeah, my bad, my bad. I'm good, I'm good. I'm calling all the way from uh, Toronto. Salute, bro. Mm -hmm. Salute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually I don't check in because my, my house is always loud. So okay. that's why. That's Appreciate why you tapping in. in, fam. And it's always late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we be so doing vampire had, streams. I, just, I, I got to agree with Ponte. Yeah, vampire streams are crazy, man. We got to work next day. <laughs> You're right. That's wild, right? <laughs> Shout out to B12. If y'all don't know about B12, get involved. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks. So what I, I got to say some couple things. Like, what I was saying earlier was like, you know, how many games you have left? Like eight nine. games now? Nine. You can't keep saying the same things. The same things we've been saying since All Star Break, even before that. Like problems just don't get solved like that. Like in these games, yes, we solved some problems. For example, like our perimeter defense, it's a lot better. Right. But there's there's like a problems that are not has has nothing to do with plays or even schemes. It has to do with pre people not doing their job. For example, like like our communication got better. But sometimes you just like forget, like who's <laughs> covering who. Oh, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke Lopez. He's like, oh wait, I'm not a shooting guard. I'm a, I'm a center. Wow. <laughs> he cooking like, oh, y'all from Toronto. Like, like, Get Ray the Allen or something. He is cooking from Toronto. Go ahead, bro. Is Brooke Lopez out there thinking like he's Ray Allen or something? Like, bro, get your butt in the paint. And start backing down, guys. You're literally 300 pounds almost. You can Bro. literally back down any person. <laughs> any person. He could and he, as soon as a, someone touches him, he just throws the ball up and he doesn't know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, <laughs> not only Brooke Lopez, too. I noticed something about Damian Lillard. Mm -hmm. The dude does not know how to pass the ball properly. Like, he hesitates on every single play. Do you want to shoot? Does he want to pass? Does he want to shoot? Does he want to pass? Does he want to shoot? Oh, yeah. Like he thinks about like passing, and then he doesn't pass it, and then Giannis is all the way at the basket, like wide open. Yep. It's like, like bro, like did you not just see Giannis roll? It's not people always blame Giannis for like not being able to play on pick and roll with Damian Lillard. Actually, no, Giannis is doing a great job. It's Damian Lillard. Who's not passing the ball? Look at Chris yeah, Middleton. How can he be able to do it so easy? I agree with you. Because he doesn't, he doesn't hesitate. He passes it, and Giannis knows he's gonna get it. Mm -hmm. So they better figure that out. Because if they don't figure that out, look, listen with look, look at Chris Middleton. Every time he lobs the ball to Giannis, ninety nine percent of the time it's going to it's going in. Correct. Correct. I agree with you. And I just don't know Why what they're seeing Dame in the does not film hesitate, room. Just pass. Yeah, like what is like, is is um Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Well, go ahead, Pronte. Yeah, go I, ahead, mean, Pronte. I, I don't get it. It's like I'm with you. I, I I'm like, okay, they be like, oh y'all just bad at pick and roll. But then when he plays with anybody else on the team, it works perfectly fine. So my thing is Dang only likes a short roller. And why is that? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, what is that about, man? Like, if you if you want to use a pick and roll for you to get off, then and you a point guard, then you're the problem, right? Fact. You see what I'm saying? Then you're the problem because you're a point guard supposed to be creating points for everybody. You know, you know, if you roll, and it's easy points there for the whole team. And it's like y'all, and like, what should we have done in the fourth quarter? We should it, it, game down six seven, spam the pick and roll with Damian Giannis. Yep. They did none of that. They did none of that two-man yeah. game at all. It was yeah. just hero ball. I'm going to take the shot. Here you go, Dane. And it's Giannis far from buying into it because they need to talk to the coach and say, look, man, let's just run a two-man action between us. Either I'm going to get a good shot or Dane going to get a good shot. Right. Keep Chris Middleton out because he's playing like trash. So have him sit in the corner or something. You know what I mean? He said have Don't him Don't let him bring the, the ball up the court. Don't let them dribble. Don't let them do a, a, a gazy pass that's gonna get turned over because that's what he did. Just sit them in the corner and say you are, you you are we gonna kick out to Chris Middleton in the corner if we ain't got it. But man, but that's on the coach because it's like right. you catering to egos. You need Shout to tell to everybody's talking about get. Everybody's talking keep talking about get Dame, make Dame comfortable. It's 
almost we almost seventy five games in the game. Season. Yeah, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, if he, it, 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 like bro, you you if you ain't comfortable now, you ain't gonna never be comfortable. And that's the way it is. You know what I mean? Like so, either you stop, you know, giving yourself excuses and figure out what's going on with yours. We can't do nothing for you. Right? Can't nobody do nothing for you. Everybody been trying to stroke your ego, and it ain't working. You know, so maybe they should take a different approach because the being, oh, this is your team, Dame. Oh, yeah, that ain't working. Dame run the office. Dame, Dame. It ain't working, bro. It just ain't working because something ain't, nobody's telling Dame what he needs to hear. Bro, the play truth. better or you ain't winning a chip. And that's it. If you don't play better, you ain't winning a chip. You, and I don't care if this is your best chance to win a chip. Next year ain't promised. You If you need, if you hear it somewhere else, man, like stop all the, the 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 uh baby and dude dude is not a baby he's a grown ass man so right. you know he he probably respond better to that type of language you know some people respond better to that you know they play better you know do you want to win a chip or not because if you don't figure out the pick and roll if you don't start coming out of some of your comfort zones right and trying to force your comfort zone team, then we ain't winning the chip and if you don't play 48 minutes of basketball we ain't winning the chip talk to all him. this nonchalant Cool guy, basketball ain't gonna work. It don't work in the playoffs. It just don't work, you know. So you gotta get scrappy. You gotta get dirty. You mean this is the playoffs? You gonna finna? You finna have to go through the Heat, the Knicks, and Boston. At yeah. least, Joe L B is coming back. At least you don't have to put your body on the line. I saw you down. What's his name? Her Joe was coming down the lane. You moved out the way. I said, bro, come on now. All right, that ain't nothing championship about that defense. Ain't no nothing championship about that, man. You, that's not gonna win the game. I saw you closing out slow, and it's like, bro, if you go, if you playing bad on offense, pick it up on defense. Because right. one thing we saw, Am, we saw that man play defense. Right. He can play defense when he wants to. That's the problem. Like he, what he plays defense when he wants to. He doesn't play it all the time, and he thinks that's cool. That's not cool if you want to win a chip. You know, you can't have that mentality. You right. know. I don't care, like missing shots, but just being like, you know, we used to keep saying the team doesn't have identity. They absolutely have our identity by now. They're gonna have a hundred miscues. You know what I mean? Come on. They're gonna man. have a hundred. They're gonna miss. They're gonna miss some switches. They're gonna. They're gonna miscommunicate. This is the most miscommunicating team I've seen in a long time. Yeah, like, I agree, Mr. Cool. Y'all own stuff. I, no, I agree, Mr. Cool. And if you want to tap in, Mr. Cool, Dame doesn't play with passion, and that's what we've been saying for a minute. It's this too cool for school yeah, attitude, just, and it's it awesome. You need he need to be playing like his life on the line. He need to be playing yeah, all these games always, like his life is on the line. He waiting for somebody to uh, give. I might want to. Oh, go ahead, Gibson. I want to drop something. I want to drop something. This this question is for my guy in Toronto. My guy in Toronto, I, I got a question I would like to put before him. Uh, you only think it's best that we ship out that big, lousy seven-footer we got on that court with letting little six-foot guards? Yeah, 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 man. Look, man. look. Gibson, I'm with you, man. Like, I saw exactly what he said. What was the last dude on Zeke? Zeke, yeah. Man, I saw mm-hmm. CJ McCollin. He ain't no hustler. Look right, at all. Right there. He <laughs> From out of bounds to man, inbounds, man. he still grabbed the rebound. My just stood there. I'm looking like, bro, either you're allergic to rebounding the basketball. <laughs> I don't think he thinks it's his job. Right. He don't think it's his job to rebound the basketball at all. He thinks somebody else is supposed to do that. It's crazy for a basketball player to think they can't rebound the basketball. That's a fact. You know, and, and, go and this ahead. all them tap outs, and, and, and all them tap outs too. He don't want to grab the ball. Like, how, how's that? But when he's shooting a three, here he go. <laughs> like what? Right. When he's shooting an eighty foot three pointer, he grabbing the ball. So it's like, man, get out of here, man. No, that is wild. Somebody need to tell Brookie. Somebody need to tell Brookie. Like again, like with my guest with Toronto, say he's not Ray Allen. Someone need to slap. They need right. to slap these but guys. We got. So we we got to Ray Allen. You know what? I'm going to keep it 100% with y'all and uh, because I, I do see some of the stuff that's going on in the chat, and I'm going to uh, keep it real or why certain things are a certain way. The reason I keep supporting Dame and I keep trying to big him up yeah. is because I know deep down the way this team is set up for us to win a championship, he has to hoop. There is no – that's he what y'all to, don't even right. understand what I'm doing. Y'all, when I'm talking, y'all got y'all to gotta peel the layers back. 
I know the way this team is set up now, we cannot win a championship, period, without Dame hooping. That's why I try to big him up because I know without him, we have no shot. I don't care what Giannis do. Dame is the true yeah. X factor, and that's with Middleton, all of them, they don't matter. If Dame is hooping, this team is unbeatable. And that is why yep. I do what I do. Because I know positive energy works at a certain point. And I know that I'm going to com completely remain positive as I can because I know that this team, to win a chip, he got a hoop. He got a hoop. Y'all can say what y'all yep. want. Without right, Dave Hoopin, we are not you winning right. no championship. That is a fact. And that's the most frustrating thing about it. That's the fact. Dame needs to realize that. Somebody, I, you know, we've been doing that for Dame. I think he might need the other energy. He maybe, might be a guy that maybe. operate the other way. Maybe. You see what I'm saying? Maybe. Not us. When we say we ain't talking to Dame, he might right. need somebody to get his ass. Right. He should be the, he hey, Dame, you should pop like on that. here, bro. I'm talking about here. Bro. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. They, they need somebody to get to call him a bum or something like man you ain't a champ they need to something because he needs some motivation but that's the Yo, thing you shouldn't need, need motivation like you were living in squalor but he you did. were living in a tenement now you in the penthouse that should be all the motivation you need that should be it you were living in a tenement pissy hallways all that fun, all that stuff now you in a penthouse five bedrooms five baths like you living good don't you want that forever in order to do but that you, you need to you keep winning like Hey, I'm he, he knows like this with Dane. He's he, he like, dang, I ain't the only star here. No, but the, th but the thing of what it is, Pronto, uh, CJ McCollum, old player, your old former teammate from Portland, old player you tonight. So that's to show you if John Horse could swap CJ McCollum from the Pelicans and get rid of Middleton, that, that $34 million contract, and give that to McCollum. No, no, no. What, uh, the the Middleton thing is gone. We don't even need to worry about that. His value is going to be what it is, bro. He got too many injuries. <laughs> what we should have done, what hey, I said bro. in the offseason, was trade Middleton for DeJounte Murray. Do y'all remember me saying yes. that? Yes. Do y'all remember me saying that? Right, right. I'm not the, I might not be the messenger right. y'all want, but I'm the messenger y'all need. I said that in the off season. Right. Well, oh, let's run it back. If they're healthy, mm -hmm. this and that could happen. If they're healthy, blah blah blah. I wanted both of them dudes gone because I know I know what's coming. I knew what was coming. Yeah. More injuries yep. for Middleton. Mm -hmm. uh, Lopez is older. He only gonna get slower. We should have traded Middleton in the off season for Dejounte Murray. Right. Why his stock wasn't that right. high? Like right. I said. I said we should have traded Brooke Lopez mm -hmm. for somebody like Nas Reed on the Timberwolves. Look what he's doing now. Oh yeah, he's balling. Hey, man. Oh, Nick Clarkson from the Brooklyn. Nick Clarkson from the Brooklyn Nets. He younger. He young. He only twenty-four years old. Miles Turner was old. even an option. Miles Turner. Oh, let's run it back. Miles Turner. We're, we're healthy. We can win the championship. Yeah. I was never yeah, so. I said good get Jalen Durham. I was never so. Oh, man. Good. Never, so never, never. Anytime you got a seven footer that refused to rebound, you gotta, you gotta look, you gotta pause. And you refuse to go in the seven. post. He think he dirt and refuse. He, he think no, he, he dirt. Think he, dirt. <laughs> he think he Kyrie Irving. He think he's like, he's trying to <laughs> back your no, 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 he dirt. Reverse. I saw him do the one footer right, from a three. I, man, listen, hey, you're like, bro, you out here? You, yeah, yeah, but uh, but uh, but getting back to it, y'all. If they ain't hooping in the playoffs, we're done. We ain't. We it, we're right. done. You're that's that's the right. simple that's what fact. Makes me, that's what makes me mad when he's not aggressive. Man, we ain't gonna win this without you playing like that. You got this team was built. This team's success was built around Dame coming in hooping with Giannis. That was the plan. Yep. Middleton was know, only an yep, accessory. You know. Middleton was only accessory. You might be Gucci Middleton down. Be Middleton is just the chain. Middleton would be the chain. You know what I'm saying? Just that that accessory piece, like boom, there it is. That's what Middleton was supposed to be. I don't count on Middleton, but I should be able to count on Damian like, Lillard. It just it man, scared man, me because he's, he's, he's giving me the inconsistency like Middleton. I'm like, oh man. Because one thing, and I know we don't like talking about Drew, and I, you know, Dame is a better player than Drew, obviously. But right. Drew was least consistent at what he did. You see right. what I'm saying? So something you can rely on, even though he was gonna give you inconsistent, uh, super inconsistent games on the offense end. 
when he got cooked by Jimmy Butler, I think his magic wore off. You see what I'm saying? So I get that. Right. But dang, dang, it's not. But Drew's aggressive on defense. We just want Dane to be aggressive on offense. And then, okay, you're not going to be a great defender. We get that. Right. But be aggressive on offense, man. Do your stuff on offense aggressively. Make her, you know, make her miss. Right. You know, uh, but, you know, you wait for the moment to, to so the spotlight can be on you. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, like, right. Come on, man. <laughs> like, like, you you a point a guard, question. real point guard. And I ain't, ain't, ain't a real point guard. And I'm, and I'm just, a real point guard would have said that Giannis is hot. I'm going to set Giannis up in the fourth quarter when he come back in the game. A real point guard would have been on that. I'm going to work. I'm going to get the easy shots off Giannis. Come on, Giannis. Getting this pick and roll. Getting every action we run. It's going to be with Giannis involved because Giannis has been killing him. So, but he said, nope, I'm going to do my thing. And yet, and it didn't work out. It was no consistency in the offense. Turnovers and all this clunky stuff that we've been seeing all season. He's like, lost man, his identity and he's hurting this team. That's really what it is. Dame has lost his identity of who he is and the player, they, what player he should be. He doesn't know who he should be. That I, I'm just keeping it real. He doesn't know when yeah. he should do it, how he should do it. it, it it's really wild. I, I'm going to let y'all get y'all final words, and I'm going to tap some other I people. Agree with I don't want the stream right, yeah. to lag. Uh, go right, ahead, yeah. Montalondo, then I'm going to let you take yeah. us home, Gibson. Go ahead, Montalondo. Shout out to Toronto okay. and the You know Montalondo. what? I, I agree with you and Amar, Amar and uh, Pronte. Pronte on the fact that uh, Dame, he needs to be a little bit more – like a point guard instead of um, the thing that pissed me off about Damon Lillard is he doesn't know what he wants to do. If yeah. he figures out what his role really is in the box, because you're not in Portland, you're not in Portland. You're in you're in a different team. The priority was always Giannis in in in, in um in the Bucks. How many years has it been and that point guards were there, but they didn't, their whole their whole identity was just to, there to help Giannis. That's mm-hmm. even Drew Holiday. He was there to help Giannis. Game acting like he's here to help himself. Like, dude, your number one option is not Dame. It should be Giannis at all times. You're the point guard that leads him to getting those buckets, those easy buckets that we were looking for. And right. how? What was the whole? What was the whole narrative behind the whole season when Dame got traded? Oh, the pick and rolls are going to be deadly. Right. Have we seen a deadly pick and roll with Dame yet? No, we didn't. Nope. That goes to show you what Dame's identity is, what was missing the whole time. Does Dame have to fit into that pick and roll right. uh, identity that everyone wants? Or does he need to figure out a different way to play with Giannis? Does he need to right. go back to the Portland ways? Or does he need to find a new way that we haven't seen He ever? needs to find a new way we haven't That's all seen. I got to end it, it, off with. Yeah, that's really what it is. That's really what it is. Yeah. The funny thing is, though, mm-hmm. somebody said that either give up the ball and, and the dang layup or prove. <laughs> Dave layup package is nasty now. Yeah, it, it, it needs to improve. That mug is getting tossed. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> how many layup packages day? Then that yeah. one, man, he better get that layup package up. I, right. If no, that, I if agree. You with work you. on one thing. Yeah. Work on but, that layup uh, package, bro, because that. He need to get his whole life together. Let's not talk about no layup package. We need this dude, and he need to get his life together. I don't know if we need to send him a 304 or something to get him straight. I don't know what he needs, some good whiskey. I don't know, but he needs something to get his mind right, and that's just really what it is. But I need to tap these people in, so Gibson, take us home, bro. Peace and love, peace and love. I'm going to take him down to the strip joint and let him get a live down. Hey, hold on, hold on, man. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hey, this is family television, brother. This is family television, brother. All right, I'm going to tap y'all out, Montalondo Gibson. Appreciate y'all. Stay on the line for a minute, uh, Prime Time. I'm going to tap in, Mr. Cool. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. Montalondo, man, shout out to Toronto, bro. Appreciate you tapping in. All right, Gibson, shout out to the Bahamas. Go ahead. All right, bro. I'm going to tap y'all in in one second. Hold on one second. Tap in Mr. Cool, the legend. Y'all don't know. Hey, this chat is worldwide. I tell y'all we the number one Bucks uh, YouTube channel, the number one chat for a reason. We worldwide people, Canada, Bahamas, United Kingdom, all over Thailand. We have an impact. And this gentleman right here to my bottom left is one of the main people so is this man in the top right. Shout out to Pronte. Shout out to Mr. Cool and Mr. Smith and all the great 
logical thinkers we have in this chat. Our IQ was high. Our team IQ might not be high, but our IQ was high. How about that? And we got my man CJ in the house. But without further ado, let's let my man Mr. Cool cook. Well, it looks like you guys have covered almost everything anyway so far. But I, I think I just can't believe that we played so well against OKC and have been really so poor since then. Uh, maybe the first half of the Laker game, we were pretty good. But mm -hmm. just really a bad game today on so many levels. And I don't understand it. I really don't. Uh, it's just a lot of questions that we look so disorganized on both ends of the floor, mostly offensively, though. Um, we got we got to figure out somehow to have ball movement. We got to work the ball a little bit inside out. Just old school basketball what works for me, where you know you try to get the ball in and out, and and maybe Giannis and Dame has to look to move the ball more. And Middleton, there's so much isolation at times. We don't need that all the time. This is the early 2000s. We don't do ISO ball anymore. This ain't the early 2000s with Joe, uh, ISO Joe and all them type of players and uh, Melo. That game is past. It's all about ball movement, like you said, Mr. Cool. I don't understand the Neanderthal logic sometimes. Go ahead, Mr. Cool. Then another thing with Dame, he's got to learn when he he's going to draw people every time you penetrate to the rim. So guess what? Dish it sometime. Look to draw and dish. Because that's going to free it up for you where they're not going to attack you so hard. He gets swallowed up. They beat his shot down in key moments of the game. That's just craziness. Dude, if they, you know you're going to draw people. You know you're going to draw them, especially in the fourth quarter game of the line or a close scoring game. Look to move the ball. Just have that mentality. And that, and that goes for Giannis too at times. You penetrate down the floor. Don't always try to charge through three people if there's guys on the wings that are open. That's the reason you have shooters. Now, they may or may not make it, but I, I like that option because the more you move the ball when you penetrate, the more they're going to open up space for you in the future. So then I jammed it. But right now, if I was defending the Bucks, hey, I'm standing right there waiting for you to come because you're not going to pass the ball. So they're just going to pack it in and just say, come on in here. And then you do, we're going to file you with Giannis and go to the line and miss free throws where Dame, we're just going to beat your shot up. Right. Because nothing, we're not looking to pass enough to open up space. You want to is create space. Low, That's why you have low shooters. IQ, Mr. Cool. This team shows a lot of low basketball IQ. And we're not fundamentally it sound. Is. And we're not fundamentally yeah. sound. No, Mr. We're cool, not. what you we're describing not. is Harold Ball. Like, Dame, Dame yeah. and, and part of this is just Dame and, and the way people geeked him up. You the closer, you the closer, you the closer. Close the game out with a pass sometimes. Some of the greatest right. closes of games have come off of passes by a great player. Like, right. You know you're going to get the attention. You know Anthony Davis is coming. Come on, right. man. Like, you're a point guard, man. You you are, and most importantly, you're a point guard, not a shooting guard, not a power forward. So you should know that there's a passing option if Anthony Davis is coming. You got to hit him. Or Anthony Davis going to, because if you become too predictable, like Mr. Cool said, there's just a predictability in that. A big, a, a big is gonna swap that. They're gonna get that out of there, and they do it every time, every time. Even yeah. both Laker games, they did it. Yeah. Both Laker games, they they knew he wasn't passing the ball. No chance they ain't passing the ball. And at some point, you gotta mix it up to to keep them on balance. Yeah. So you actually get the shot off. That's that's smart basketball. That's just that's low IQ. Like you said, it's just too low IQ. But Dame is too smart of a player. And so is Giannis too smart a player to keep playing so simpleton like that. That's simpleton basketball. If I know if I play basketball, basketball and I know hilarious. you're not going to pass the ball for five minutes, I, I might triple team you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because you don't even want to yeah. pass it. It hurts you to pass it. You he said it hurts you to – You'll scratch your eyeballs out before you pass the ball in that last shot. And that's, that's – Yeah, that, that is a fact. I will definitely 100% agree with that. He is not passing up no last-minute shot at Never, all. Man. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Some point a pass is a good thing. A pick and roll and having you and Giannis, both of y'all don't want to pass it, but Giannis is gonna pass it because he, he ain't a shooter. So he might pass it. Um mm -hmm. but you you can make any shot at all three levels. So you you but a pick and roll in that moment will get you an easier shot. That'd have kept Anthony Davis on Giannis and you'd have had a layup. He'd have had to pick his poison, but you know, whatever. Let's keep playing stupid basketball. Mr. Kwan with you, man. Like we but we can't bring that in the playoffs because we know 
how the playoffs are. Playoffs are gritty basketball games. And the bus gonna have to be some gritty teams to make it to the finals. They you know, all those teams are gritty. Right. You look like New York and the bus gonna be two and three. Mm-hmm. That's a gritty matchup. We might either play Miami or uh or Philadelphia. And those are tough, those are tough teams. Ryan B's coming back. I, mean, I swear Dame does not play like a guy who's been in Portland all these years waiting for an opportunity to win a title. I just, that's what's kind of stumpy about him. Like his body language says, I, I, I can take my time and I'll figure this out later or I'll wait till the playoffs get here. You, you're going to be down in the fifth seed if you keep doing this. That's you know, Those other teams aren't that far behind us. Right. So I just, and the thing is- I mean, I, listen, I love Dave's game. He is a talented player, but you got to play with a sense of urgency. That's, yeah, the, just, that's the that's the term right there. That's what it is, Mr. Yeah. Cool. A sense of urgency. That's what it is. Shout out to Mr. Cool, the legend. Mr. Cool, that's, dis- that's disrespect to basketball, right? Yeah. Right now, Dame is disrespect. Mm-hmm. I can do it when the four of Mr. Cool. I'm sure. That's disrespecting basketball. No <laughs> disrespect. The Let's game. not even go that far. It's disrespecting Giannis Antetokounmpo, who gives you 110 percent every game. That's who you're well, disrespecting. That's what I, and, and, and that's what I said before. Giannis plays it. <laughs> he just plays at a high motor. We all know that. And Dame is at such a slow motor. I just, I just don't see that clicking, and it hasn't clicked really all year, not right. consistently. And I think that's part of the yeah. problem. And all Giannis Dame plays, plays like, slow motor. All Giannis plays like is he hates losing. Right. You, he don't. He just hates losing. That's all he playing like. And that right. third quarter, right. the person that hated that they was losing was going to try to do something about it. All great right. players play like that. All the really great players play like that. They just don't like to lose. So, you know, but Giannis is a loyal, trusting guy of his teammates. And that's the issue for him sometimes. Because sometimes he's like, I'm going to give it to Dane. This is his moment. Right. Dame, right. This this is this his moment. moment. It ain't Dane moment. It ain't, I'm going to give it to Chris. This is his moment. Sometimes they just don't got it. <laughs> you know, and it's just got, you here, just got to ride this up. But what, what, our, what Bucks Nation has to realize is we have a big three. The big three you got to perform. It's yep. as simple as that. Okay, so we can yell and get mad about all our role players. This guy ain't coming. No, the big three has got to deliver. They are paid the big bucks to perform. Plain and simple. We can't have Middleton going one for seven. Yep. Okay, we can't have Dane wait to three and a half quarters to decide to play. That that yeah, can't ridiculous. happen, man. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and you know what? That's the only reason why we lost to the Lakers last game. It was still mm-hmm. for like three quarters. It was just only Giannis. All three mm-hmm. of y'all have to show up to win these games. Y'all cannot at least two of the three. Two of y'all superstars. Superstars, all stars should carry you. They should carry your team. And we got you know three superstars slash all stars, whatever you want to call them. They Max, they're paid the money. They gotta they gotta produce. And especially in the playoffs, you know, we, can, we, we not we can't be dependent on Beasley in the playoffs. That's crazy right. that we have to do well, that. Look, he could do what he needs to do, but he should be expected to put up 30. That's what I'm saying. We, we had 20. We should be expecting Bobby to put up 30. Like, right. y'all, you, right. middle of the game, y'all have to be more consistent because we know Yon's going to at least give you 25. You're going to get paid 45 million. I need something for that. If I'm going to give Middleton 30 million, I need something for that. Right. That's, that's a lot of money for you to be giving me. You know, four points and one for seven shooting and all this stuff can't happen, man. You just can't unless you make it up defensively. You better give me something. These Draymond Green, these Draymond Green do all the dirty work, and he he, right. he do get the assist right. and rebound. But Milton, when you got yeah. four points, that ain't what we paid you for. To be honest with you, we paid yeah. you for the bucket in the story. It wasn't to be at four points. Yeah, we should have. And, and to be quite honest, you know that you know New Orleans is missing a couple of their key players, right? that are really tough to deal with, and they weren't even playing. They're really not even a very good team in my book. I ain't trying to knock them, but I don't think New Orleans but is that's, very good. But that's part of the Bucks' problem. We are unmotivated against teams we don't feel are a threat. Let's keep it real right. about the Bucks. Have y'all looked at all yeah. the teams that the Bucks have beat that are elite teams this year? Almost They beat right. almost everybody. So right. we, start, we, have to, we have to be real about this team. And I, I'm going to say, and I'm going to be completely yeah. honest, this team does not care about playing against teams that they don't feel as a threat or are not going to make the playoffs or they won't see in the finals. They do not care. If they are, if you are, play, if the Bucs are playing a team, they feel 
that they could play in the finals or is a threat in any shape or form, they come in the ball. OKC, they come in the ball. Denver, they come in the ball. New York, they come in the ball. Y'all gotta be real. Y'all, that's why I be saying certain stuff. Y'all gotta start taking emotion out of the out of watching these games and start using logic of what you're actually seeing the Bucks do. The Bucks play to the level of their competition. And that's the that's yeah. the, that's the truth. Or when they feel mm-hmm. where they feel they feel like somebody's disrespecting them. They felt that they felt the Celtics were disrespecting them. So when they blew them out by 30, they, they didn't really care. We, oh, we know we can whoop y'all if we play for real. We showed it. Y'all was playing for real. We was playing for it. We whooped y'all. OKC, okay, y'all was supposed to be the boogeyman of the West. We beat on y'all. Denver, y'all's a championship. Y'all's the champions, right? We beat on y'all. We beat on all the good teams. So that's why I'm saying just wait to the playoffs. I think you'll see a different animal from the Bucks. I think you will see a different animal because they just showed you what they can do against quality competition. They've shown you. We just can't beat weak teams because we're not interested. I hope you're right. <laughs> That's the only way I can I, look I at think, it. That's the only way I can I look think, at it. I don't think the big threes isn't the issue. I'm worried about the bench because we keep playing dead weight guys and that's the big issue <laughs> if we keep playing way. pat Connaughton, we keep playing patrick Beverly, if we keep playing three guard lineups who are not going to play no defense oh, not going to play dead by no offensive <laughs> game who are just going to sit in the corner and throw up bricks and running cardio the whole game and so doc and this and this is my question we only got eight to nine games left mm. i'm looking at doc rivers and what he going to do with his bench because patrick Beverly mm. got eight this dude can't shoot. He 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 my he pretty much shoot as he really he couldn't shoot before the wrist injury. Let's keep it real. He wasn't no right. shooter before the wrist injury. He so was now, he was so like now, a half a step above uh PJ Tucker. A half a step. Like, like at this point, you might as well just treat uh, Patrick Beverly as Giannis as shooting because he got a torn ligament in his right wrist. And that and that's his dominant hand. And then on top mm. of that, every team is playing their young guys. Why are we not playing the young guys? I mean, this is a young, uh, you, this it's NBA a young is starting league. to become young. It's yeah. a young league. Dudes are way quicker. Brooke Lopez cannot, ha- I cannot stress this enough. Brooke Lopez cannot handle outside the free throw line. It's, it's at this point, I, don't, I just don't know why we keep playing Brooke Lopez against centers who are at least 6'10 or, or below. That's not going to happen. If you're playing centers who are going to space the floor, it's going to kill us because Brooke Lopez is not even going Brooke to Lopez he's can't not play gonna, against any center that has any athleticism. Period. He's not even going to make an effort to cl- to go up and contest a shooter. You saw Larry Nance today in the mid range mm-hmm. just shooting jump shots, and Brooke Lopez is just standing there looking at him. Like, what are we going to do? And then on top of that, and Amir, I told you this yesterday against that Laker game. This is the hardest fact you're going to have to swallow, and this is I paid attention. You can even watch today's game. Dame is not playing good basketball, and not even that—not even just good basketball. He's not playing smart basketball. Low IQ. He is not taking what the defense is giving him. What I say, yes, on, on the uh, Lakers. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Larry Nance Jr. is playing drop coverage. You are Damian Lillard. Why are you not shooting that? There's a pull-up mid-range right there in front of you. There's a runaway floater right there in front of you. If Larry Nance Jr. is pulling up or stepping up, you have Giannis through the lob or through the dish. It's Damian Lillard, man, and. Mm-hmm. His best connection, and I think I seen it on the comment, he has a great connection with Beasley. Mm-hmm. Beasley is always he's always gonna dump it to Beasley to bail him out, whatever. But I've said this probably a while back. I think Chris Middleton needs to come off the bench if the bench is not gonna provide anything. Because you just can't allow Bobby Portis, who's gonna have CTE moments where he's gonna try <laughs> elbow people and everything like that. So I mean you got to do something. And then Do- and Doc Rivers, man, you, you AJ Green wild, needs to have 20 <laughs> minutes per game. I don't understand what yeah, these Yeah, I'm minutes, with you with the AJ Green. Eight minutes. Yeah. AJ, if Pat Connaughton is giving you 20 minutes, AJ Green should be giving you 30 minutes, in my opinion, because it's, <laughs> it's unacceptable. You have their best shooter, arguably the best shooter besides Dame on your team. He's not getting minutes. I don't. It, it makes no sense. Yeah, Mr. Cool, and yeah. Not- what do you feel about that, Mr. Cool? And then we go. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all do y'all last words. I gotta take this dog out in a minute. Man, I got a puppy. I got a golden retriever. It's three months old. Man, let's <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Having another baby, man. Bruh, but he cool. I'm gonna put him on the show once he once he under control. 
it's a golden doodle, so it don't shed or nothing like that. So it hyperallergenic is cool, but it ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Mr. Cool Bars. Go ahead, Mr. Cool. <laughs> What, what was the question though you were asking? Because I didn't quite catch so the end of that. You, uh, was... How do you feel about AJ Green and why he's not getting minutes? What What do you? I know before you said it because he's a young guy, but he's shown some. He's shown. I think he's earned the right to be, get at least fifteen minutes a game at this point. He's earned it. He. I'm not asking you to give it to him. I feel like he's earned it from his production when he's in the game. Well, today for sure. I mean, I think Doc misread this. We didn't need. We didn't need Pat Beverly's defense. We needed more offense. They weren't going to score that much. They're not. A, they're not a real good shooting team from the perimeter. So I didn't even need Pat if he was healthy. I needed. I needed to have AJ out there. We were trouble scoring, spacing, oh, knocking down he shots. When he was healthy, that's a little so. I just think, think that was a bad call by the coaching staff. But he definitely needs more minutes. Yeah. Clearly. Okay. Clearly. Yeah. We're all in alignment. Clearly. Then we all in alignment with that thing. Because yeah, that's crazy. But he has some love relationship with. Uh, with Pat Connaughton that I don't understand. It's like how Boonhoser would just love George Hill no matter what George Hill did. He would trade him. He That's would true. trade and get him back. Like, he, he, he couldn't go without George Hill. It was one of the most insane relationships I've ever seen, and I feel like Doc has some infatuation with Pat Connaughton, and I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't see it. Hey, you yeah. know what? I knew it was bad I, when they said they played all together. It's the love of golf now. That's his golfing buddy. And oh, Doc yeah, you got to get him some play time. He's slick. Like, go, Doc ended a whole press conference so he can watch a golfing tournament. And I'm like, dang. Right. Slow as golf. Emmer, like, I got to get out of here. Time. Okay. All right, Mr. Cool. Thank you, bro. Hey, hold on. Before right, you sir, go, we appreciate you tapping in, Mr. Cool. I know you don't tap it's in third. often, but you usually be in a chat. <laughs> but, hey, we appreciate when the legend tap in. Hey, y'all, get them likes up. The legend has tapped in. He is out. Appreciate you, Mr. Cool. Thank you. I'll see y'all. All right. The thing that's frustrating about the Bucks is they play better. They'd be the best team in the league. Right. Brandon, I, just, I don't know what's up with your ahead, internet. Go go ahead, Pronte. Then I'm going to let CJ and then Brandon take us home. Go, uh, go ahead, Bronte. If the Bucks play better, they'd be the best team in the league. Doc messed this game up, I think. I just think Doc messed this game up. He should have left Brooke Lopez. He should have sat Bobby. Yeah, I was he was negative like thirty. You know why Niners was a negative two? Because he's in that lineup with Bobby Portis, and they that, mm -hmm. that's when they want to so when they say lineups Good don't point. matter in positive negatives. That lineup got eight up, and that's why Giannis was such a negative in that game. Because Middleton four points, yeah, that only looks good on the bench. So if you don't give you four points, that's a bench player. That's a bench right. player production. You, Chris Milton, you got to have more pride to give you four points. But you play like trash. And I think Chris Milton, you got to realize you're doing too much, bro. Like, just take the easy shots. Stop all this. Stop stop trying to facilitate sometimes. Only time I want you to facilitate is when you're trying to get the ball. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Otherwise, you he should be Clay up. Thompson. He should be he's our Clay consistent. Thompson. Why he's don't he embrace that too. role? You big head moron. You got a big head. You should have all types of brain. Your synapses should be firing at the highest level. But you her, know you got no dribble. He remind me of Big Dog back in the day. I don't know if y'all remember yeah. Big Dog. His I handles was dog. terrible. <laughs> terrible. But he always trying to dribble, making up. I got the Big Dog yank. No, you don't, sir. You are a shooter. Catch, shoot. That's it. Damn, Middleton. Anytime he dribbled more than three times, I'm ready to throw the remote because I already know what's happening. He about to fumble the ball. Three dribbles, Middleton. That's it. <laughs> Dummy. Go ahead, Brandon. I don't remember what right that time. I was about to go in on Bull Lopez. Now I was about to go in on Chris Middleton. Okay, go ahead, brother. Good. If your offense is not working, just get this shoot, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Why the oh, hell? Oh, my man, Brandon. Oh, shit. Hold on one second. Hey, tap back in, Pronte. I accidentally took you out. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, Pronte. One second, bro. Oh, I got to fix that. Hold on one second. Hold on if your knees that bad, 
Hold on one second. Let me try to let me try to fix uh fix uh get this situated. Hold on one second. All right, hold on one second. I don't know what happened. I might have to fix that after the show. Let me let me have y'all get y'all. Let me let let me change this up real quick, Pronte. So you in there, CJ? I'm gonna bring you in in one minute. But go ahead, uh, go ahead, Brandon. Finish your thought, and then I'm gonna tap you in, CJ, for your last thought. Okay. I got. I went home. I went here. Yeah, I'm gonna put my bag last time. Mm hmm. Now, good, good. You know we need you. We already know you play off nothing. We right. already know that. But my dude. I think it's time for you to hang your shit out. <laughs> Jesus. Because you are not the same player. No more. Uh, man, I, I, I want. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Chris Milton and Brooke Lopez, they are not that damn good no more. Here's the thing my reboot is this. Keep Dave, keep Giannis, give it up back. Mm-hmm. Good, work more bad. Keep AJ, AJ, why you let Marjan go? Keep Millington. Keep all the, yeah, keep the young guys. Keep the young guys, get rid of the old time. I, That's I wonder, it. I wonder, like, like, all right, say, Say we get this this same version of Dame in the playoffs. Do you trade him? Yeah, I would think about it. Absolutely. Hold oh, on, because you can get more from Dame and Middleton. Then you can get a whole pot. You get a whole new team. Right. Yeah. Hey, look at our favorite op. No strays. Uh, e and T. Our yeah. favorite op. Four ninety nine super chat. Adrian Griffin was thirty and thirteen. Doc Rivers is fourteen and thirteen. We know that. We didn't need you to tell us that, sir. That don't got nothing yeah, to do we... with the price of tea in China, though. It, it's circumstances involved. <laughs> Daniel Orton, appreciate the four ninety nine super chat. No strays, lost two games versus ten seeded Hawks with no Trey Young. Drew got cooked. Boston need to be worried about not melting down. Get him, get him, Daniel. Shout out to the Bleach Report ball. All right, uh, I really gotta get this dog. So wrap it up, uh, uh, Brandon. Then I'm gonna tap CJ in and then let Pronte get his last word. So go ahead, Brandon. What is what is name? Who? Yeah. Uh, the dude who sent the super chat. Oh, no strays, E and T. Okay, I got something for you. No three easy. You, you better, you better go to your room before they close the door. Before we come book on your asses. <laughs> this and, dude, come on, man. No, oh, all right, hey, Brandon, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, God, man. Well, okay, we got. We, we're going to open up again on you. <laughs> oh, God, that's not you. Go, quiet, quiet. Uh, all right, Brandon. All right, Brandon. Go, bro. Let me tap this man in. My man, I thought it was the hoodie. No, you just in your bag these last couple days. I got to watch what you doing, brother. All right, Brandon. <laughs> all right, let me tap you in, CJ. Let you get your last words, and then I'm gonna let uh, Pronte send us home. Go ahead, CJ. Man, man it feel like after that Laker game, after I went off on Chris Milton, man, everybody going off on Chris Milton. But, <laughs> man, he, was he was the William Wallace I, I of that. He was the William Wallace of that. I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple. Look, this team, talent wise, yes, it has championship, but I don't. Even though I do think Doc Rivers do need to step up more, but the players' effort, and I can tell from their body mm -hmm. language, and their body language, man, I don't know, maybe as a player or maybe I just as a basketball fan, it it pisses me off seeing their body language. Like, right. the way, it's just, I don't like the way they look, and especially if you want to win as a championship team. And Dame, Dame need to be, Dame need to be more aggressive. When I mean yep. more aggressive, I mean he needs to take aggressive. You can't be aggressive one consistent. game and then be passive the next game. He like a bipolar. He like a Gemini. And, espe and especially when you have arguably a top three player on your team telling you, let me know right. what I got to do. And I do what you need me to do. Like, bro, come on. Just right. like, you, I, it's just, I don't understand how you have everybody, every shooter who is playing with Giannis have a, have a good three point percentage that they had the previous year. 
but yet you having one of your worst three point years. Like it makes no sense. And on top of that, it's just I think he's making it tough for him because I'm out of tough shot. I don't know if you pay attention to yeah, he's game, taking harder he shots than he needs. He's sets. not taking what the defense gives him. That's one, and that's and that's where it starts. Yeah. But I just gotta say, just get Brook Lopez out. I'm I'm just so tired of Brook Lopez, man. Like they got to do something with him dominating the low post. I just somewhat make him more in the paint. If Giannis is not in the game, he should be in the paint more. No, that's I agree with mind. you. No, I agree with you. Appreciate you, CJ, tapping in. I like your consistency now, bro. Appreciate you. All right, salute to my man, CJ. All right, bro. Man, you know what? We got – it's playoff time. And, and, and we can't keep – we better not be saying this in the playoffs. No, we won't. Because we, we better not because we trading everybody. No, you know why, why we won't? Because I'm going I'm to rush the court and I'm going to start knocking people out. You ain't got to worry about that. I'm going to rush the floor and start knocking people out. We That's what's like, going to happen. Oh, y'all just played good this game. But everybody else was just like, oh, no, man. And we can't be seeing people be like, my bad. Yeah, I don't want to oh, see none of this. I'm of that. Right. Somebody going to mess around that. and break their clavicle as much as they tapping their chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, like <laughs> that's all they do. <laughs> Like what, man? Y'all, it's all y'all do, man. It's mis. Like, you ain't like, trying to hear all that. You ain't trying to hear all that. I'm not trying. It's, it's game 85, y'all. You didn't know you were supposed to rotate. You still didn't know you were supposed to rotate. Like man, like man, look, the Bucks, the Buck, well, I, the fan base is engaged. Right. I'm like that. It's time for the Bucks to get engaged. Ooh, bars. You know what I mean? Because the Bucks, bars. Are, the Bucks. Players ain't engaged. They spent the whole first half lollygagging and doing whatever, thinking about what they're gonna do for my, and, and, um, 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 down there in New Orleans. You, they you, you know why the fan they base is even engaged. more engaged? Because y'all know what the Milwaukee Bucks did to season ticket holders? They increased season tickets by twenty percent on your boy. Twenty percent. They said 20%. they gotta pay for salaries. So I want to see some production on the court. If my pay well, is gonna have to go up twenty percent, y'all better start hoping. Well, but like this, we ain't paying to see this next year. <laughs> right. We ain't gonna pay. Right. We ain't we ain't to see my bad. No, no, we know it's your bad. He was right. wide open. You didn't run out. You didn't rebound. You didn't make your switch. I mean, y'all been doing that all year. No matter what right. coaches and no matter who coaches, it's, it's time to y'all to like. We keep saying. Next game, they don't get together. They don't get together. Now we at the end of the year, we're saying the same thing. And that's the problem. Uh, that's that's right. what makes people uncomfortable. That's the problem. We shouldn't be saying the same thing. Wait till same the now we like wait till the past, like, yeah. wait till the second half of the season. Wait till this. Wait till that's when we get wait till March. We saying the talking, same bro. thing. My point is do, we want to see y'all win a championship. Do y'all want to win a championship? That, that's a great point. Cause it, it don't sometimes it just I mean this ain't about the losses the losses it's about how y'all playing it's about the mistakes y'all still making it's about y'all still not knowing y'all rotations y'all don't even know y'all lineups still how you not know your lineups in the lineups that work in in this game almost seventy five that's He's crazy talking, ladies and gentlemen this man that's is crazy talking. like man look coaches need to get it together because if we want we if y'all serious y'all keep saying we hear y'all say we don't got nothing play what we want to do is win a championship we want to play with it well we better see it in the playoffs because it's all y'all gave us that's yeah. all y'all gave us Fact. that's all y'all gave us is wait to the playoffs because we ain't seeing a championship caliber team right now we've seen a team that has championship talent but not a championship mentality and that's a that's a concerning that's concerning for bucks fans you know y'all got all the talent in the world but y'all don't want to go grab a rebound. Y'all don't want to communicate on the Talk court. Y'all don't want to. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't want to play with effort. I want to play with effort. You want to show up in the last two minutes of the game. Wait, I man, come on, man. That's not championship. Everybody who saw championship teams, no, they don't play like that. That's a fact. We saw championship teams. We saw, but we know what championships. They they bring it. They consistent. They're gonna be at you the whole game. They're gonna hunt you down till they beat you. Cause you, that's what you gotta do to win a championship. You gotta hunt it down. Fact, no, I'm man talking. Nobody talk, give you nothing. Ain't nobody gonna give the Bucks nothing. The Bucks also play like an entitled team. They play like they entitled. And it's like, what are, what are y'all entitled to? Like y'all, be y'all entitled, entitled to an early exit if they don't get focused. Because because you ain't no be tight. We looking at these playoffs. All these matchups gonna be hard for me. Yeah, the first nothing is easy. Nothing is a gimme. 
especially when MB come back. So they're telling me the Celtics gonna have a tough road, the Bucks gonna have a tough road. Everybody, the, the you, East is tough in you general. Gonna have, you gonna have to earn a championship this year. No, I'm with you. I'm with so you. So y'all need to get together, and if y'all keep playing this inconsistent basketball, y'all not gonna win. That's a fact. That's one thing we do know. I don't care how much money right there. That's, keep that's it right the there. Y'all keep doing all the stuff y'all doing. If y'all don't know how to, you know, feed the hot man and, and and ride high, if y'all know how to, yeah, like how I mean, dang. How hard is it though Giannis is alive on a pick and roll? That's crazy. That's I have never seen a player mess up alive on a pick and roll as much as you to Giannis. That is the easiest pass in the game. I can still do that. And, and you mess it up every time. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. They should sense just practice you know, lives and, and, and practice. Yeah. Just nobody there. Just, just practice the live because somehow you cannot throw a live to I need to get into their practices. I need to turn them up. I need to get into their practices because I need to turn them up. It's too much laughing and smiling going on for me. Too much. Too much. Too much laughing and smiling. Hey, when you lose it, it shouldn't be nobody smiling on the bench. I shouldn't even see nobody grin. But see, I'm a different type of dude. When I lose, too, I, it, it just kill me, bro, I'm inside good. it. Even if I'm playing a video game, I lose. I'm tight for the rest of the night. Like, how the hell I, do I Yeah, I, I don't get it because if I'm on the sidelines, Damn. I'm hated. I'm hated because I like to win. I like to win. I don't know. There ain't no excuse to not miss it. It's they need, no they need a speech from Mike Singletary. That's They need like, that Mike Singletary speech. Y'all, y'all too okay with losing. Y'all give yourself excuses when y'all lose. Oh, we just trying to figure stuff out. Oh, we did, we did, we did. yeah, there's, this game. there's no real pressure on them cats. They better, they better hoop in the in the. In the oh, we uh, best, we best. That's all y'all gave y'all. All y'all been giving us is y'all excuses. So that's all yeah. we got. We know y'all can play. We can see the talent when y'all actually play together. Play together. There we go. Let Let's leave it right there. Let's leave it play right together. there. Thank play for you, one sir. another. For real, y'all ain't doing it right now, and we can tell. Anytime you see a man go for 20 in a quarter and you don't step up your game, I don't care if it's Pat Connaughton going for 20. Right. Play for that dude. Because that dude right. busts his that dude busts his butt to win his game and you sitting here drinking a latte, waiting for checking your iPhone and shit. Like, man, come on, man. Like, y'all need to get yourself together. Too many vet, too many too cool for school vets on this team. That's it. I'm with that's you. all it is. Get these vets off this team. They are cancer. Cause that's all I'm saying right now is Vets that are a cancer team, they think they, they got it locked. They like, calm down, young fella. I ain't gotta do that. Like, but y'all do. Y'all just old. Y'all made excuses for being old. That's y'all milking the walker. Y'all taking advantage of the bucks. That's how it's looking like. And it's time that that ends. If y'all went on win the championship this year, some of y'all gotta grow. That's it. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. I don't no, want to see them you. here. I'm with you. Because they ain't playing hard enough to win the championship. We ain't finna waste Giannis' rest of his career here with some old people that think that's too cool for school. I'm with you. That ain't uh, hungry in the win championship. That's all it is. Let's get this run. Y'all better look hungry in the playoffs because the rest of these games don't matter. Right. Fourth seed, third seed. We got either way is hard. Any right. way is hard. So we got to get ready. Y'all get some rest. Y'all, I'm with you now. Practice. Mm-hmm. Get the games. Practice. Get in the practice and start working on the stuff that y'all see because it don't matter no more it, Boston, doesn't, it, don't right. matter. it don't matter we know who making the playoffs right you know the teams only thing it don't matter who you play right if you a championship you're gonna be a you champion. gonna win on the road it don't matter it don't matter, it it don't don't matter. matter. yeah you, so y'all need to get these practices in because it's time it's go time thank it's you go. we're gonna leave it there pronte we're gonna leave let it me, there man y'all have a good handle night, this man. business Luxor appreciate six. you Let's tapping in my man Pronte always dropping knowledge in the chat, always dropping knowledge live, bro. Appreciate you, and I see you support. Is that a Marquette t-shirt? Yeah, it's Marquette. It's good okay. Marquette. Okay, all right, bro. Go. Let me get my man super chat, then I'm going to get up out of here. Go get this dog outside. He is off that live. I don't think he ever had nobody athletic in Portland. Did he have ever? I mean, LaMarcus Aldridge was an athletic little uh, – McCullough went out athletic. I don't think he really is used to throwing lives. Monolando, shout out to Toronto. Appreciate the $5 super chat. The thing that pissed me off so much is, hold on, let me get this before I get out of here, is is how Giannis and Dame are the only guys who can penetrate the paint. All we do is shoot threes, get rebounds. Man, yeah, we are some three-point merchants. I feel you on that. Shout out to everyone. I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic, Milwaukee Bucks, Trades, Rumors, and News where we just got them discussing the Milwaukee Bucks losing against the Pelicans, 100-107 on the road. And another game the Bucks did not take seriously. That's two losses in a row. 
I think the Bucks are going on cruise control and just trying to get to the playoff where we'll see the real Bucks stand up. And I hope that's the case. I want to see some higher uh, basketball IQ from this team. The basketball IQ has been mid at best. So, Doc, you need to start coaching, or I'm going to come in there, and I'm going to come into these practices and get this, get this thing cracking. Because clearly you can't do it. Y'all, they might need to hear another voice. And I'm dead serious. I'm re- this is ridiculous. What are they doing in practice? I, I, I want to see a practice. I'm about to talk to my rep. I need to know what's going on because this is ridiculous. I, I need to figure out what's going on. But salute the Bucks Nation. I'm Amherst Logic. Comment, like, subscribe, share the electrifying content. This is the number one Bucks bu- podcast on YouTube. This is the number one Bucks chat on YouTube. We are all so friends and family here. So salute to y'all. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Gone.